every chain that tie you down, I declare it cut off. There's a miracle facing you. Anywhere you are, let that miracle touch you. Our lives as believers, there must be fresh unction to function. You call me yeah. with some carried your God. You feed me, Lord, when others feed their God. And then you fight for me, oh, when others fight for their God. Oh. Jesus, you know they use me, play. You know they use me, play. You carry me when some carry their God. Oh, you feed me, Lord, when others feed their God. Oh, and then you fought my battles when others fight for their God. Jesus, Jesus, you know that you feel the hell. La 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 Forget about songs and just worship God by yourself. Just by yourself. Can you just reflect back over what God has done in your life and worship Him from the depth of your heart? Not because of the sound, not because of the good music, but because of who He is to you. Because of who He is to you. Because of who he is to you. He said to you, he said, I am Jehovah Rapha. The God that he let be. He said, Jehovah Jireh. The one who supply all your needs. He said, he is Shalom. The God that gives you peace. That surpass all understanding. The God seeking you. The one who sanctifies you. The one who watches over you. He never sleeps. He never slumber. He never sleeps. He never slumber. Can you go ahead and begin to glorify him? Can you go ahead and give him praise? Go ahead and give him praise. Lift your voice. Lift your voice in tongues. Lift your voice in tongues. Raise your voice of worship. Raise the voice of worship. The Bible says, He that giveth thanks in the spirit, doeth it well. He said, He that doeth it in the spirit, doeth it well. He that doeth it in the spirit, doeth it well. He that doeth it, she that doeth it in the spirit, doeth it well. Can you begin to do it well? 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 Can you do it well? Can you do it well this morning? 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 Do it well this morning. I am Adasha. Hey, cause you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all situations. The joy of the whole world.
for all still the way you are the joy of the whole world you are great and mighty you rule in every nation you are Christ the solid road your name is to be praised you are great of your glory and the earth of your beauty and if we dance it won't be enough and when we dance it won't be enough heaven speaks of your glory we will speak of your beauty ay, ay, ay. and when we shout it won't be enough all of our mouth it would be enough and never speaks of your glory and the earth of your beauty and your love is new every morning and your faithfulness is ever shown you own your great and mighty God
We worship you and we adore you. You are here moving in this place. We worship you, Lord. We cannot tell it all. You are here rearranging destinies. And we worship you. We worship you. You are he exposing satanic traps. Hey, we worship you. We worship you. Lord, you are he turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. We call you Waymaker. Waymaker, miracle walker, promise keeper, light of the darkness. Echo with me. God is who you are. We call you Waymaker. Waymaker, miracle walker. the broken heart you're the answer to it all yes you are you wipe away all tears you mend the broken heart you're the answer to it all Jesus oh Angels are around. Please, can we all be upstanding? There are angels assigned to every session in a, a church, in a ministry, in where we worship. So, as I speak, prayer answering agents are all over this environment. In the name of Jesus, please, I would like us to pray like never before. Let us start by giving thanks to God Almighty for his protection, for his provision, for his defense, for his guidance in our lives, for making it possible for us to be here today, for counting us worthy, worthy to be called a child of God. Open your mouth and thank Baba God. Thank him like never before. Because this is a yearly event. It comes just once in a year. 2022, the Wings Women's Convention. The way you pray today will determine how ready you are to receive God Almighty. Prayer of thanksgiving to God. Father, we thank you. Faithful God, we appreciate you. We thank you for what you have done for what you are doing and what you are yet to do in our lives. We thank you for your protection, for your provisions. We thank you for counting us worthy to be among the living. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Can we now plead the blood of Jesus over our sins? Tell Baba God to forgive us. Cleanse us from all, all our unrighteousness. 
The sins we committed knowingly and unknowingly. Generational sins. Tell Baba God to forgive you. This hour, Baba, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Forgive us our sins and all our righteousness. Every sins we committed. Those we know and those we don't know. Baba, by your mercy, forgive us in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Shout the blood of Jesus. You are shouting the blood of Jesus like that. You know it's so powerful. Shout the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Cover me and my household. Then you will know how to shout that blood. The blood of Jesus. That seems like it. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Cover me and my household. My husband. My wife. My children. My siblings. My loved ones. In the name of Jesus. Cover me with your precious blood, oh God. Pray that prayer. Invite God into your lives. Into the lives of your spouses. Your children. Your unborn children. Your loved ones. Your siblings. The blood of Jesus. Pray. Tell the blood of Jesus to remove every reproach in your life. Let that blood remove failure. Remove reproach. Remove promise and fail. Let it cleanse you. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, remove every reproach in my life, in the lives of my children, in the lives of my siblings, in the lives of my husband, in the lives of my husband, in the lives of my loved ones. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, remove and scatter them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Any throne of witchcraft. Please repeat after me. Because I usually like to call the prayer point so that you don't pray amiss. You know what you are praying about. In Jesus' name. Any throne of witchcraft. In my family. What are you waiting for? Catch fire. Catch fire. Any... <coughs> Any throne of witchcraft, wherever you are seated, from your foundation, from your roots, in the name of Jesus, what are you waiting for? Catch fire today. Catch fire today. Any throne of witchcraft in my family, from your foundation, from your altar, from your coven, by the power in the blood of Jesus, catch fire today. Catch fire today. Catch fire today. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire Throne of witchcraft I command you by the mandate of heaven Today you cannot escape it Today you cannot escape it In the name of Jesus In Jesus name we pray Please women This is practical Like our papa would say Hold your womb Even if you, are, you, you don't have issues you are praying for so that those babies will come. And babies cannot come if you are not married. So husband will come, then the children will follow. Let the men hold their loins. Please, women hold your womb. Hold your womb and declare like this. My children are favored. My children are blessed. Humanity will honor them. They will excel in the name of Jesus. If your children are already doing good, you are praying for your grandchildren. You are praying for your loved ones. But how are we sure? How do you equate goodness in the life of a child? You know only of today. Do you know the family your children are going into? That is why you have to pray this prayer. Pray from the depth of your heart. Hold your lungs, please. Hold your womb, also the women, and declare, my children are favored. My children are blessed. 
Humanity will honor them. They will excel. In the name of Jesus. Declare that into your lives. Oh God of heaven and earth. I declare this hour. Oh you my children. Hear the word of the Lord. You will excel. You will prosper. You will eat the fruit of the land. You will fulfill destiny. My children. If you like it or not. By the mandate of heaven. You will fulfill destiny. I declare into your lives this hour. You will excel. You will be honored. Humanity will honor you. Men, women will honor you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say after me. My father, my father. My eyes shall not see shame. My ears will not hear bad news. My feet will not lead me to destruction. Oh, you my destiny. Walk in pleasure. In the name of Jesus. You can't say that prayer and stand at a place. <laughs> my father, my father. My eyes will not see shame. My ears will not hear bad news. My feet will not lead me to destruction. Oh, you my destiny. Walk in pleasure. My destiny, walk in pleasure. In the name of Jesus, walk in pleasure. Walk in pleasure. My eyes will not see shame. My ears will not hear bad news. I will not profess evil. My feet, walk in pleasure. Walk in pleasure. Walk to fulfill destiny. My feet, walk in pleasure. In the name of Jesus. My feet, I declare and I command you this hour. Walk in pleasure. Walk in pleasure. Walk in pleasure. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. All you pains and disaster. You shall not dwell in my home. Die in the name of Jesus. What are pains? Sleepless night. Poverty. Spouses quarreling. Children not listening to their parents. Their pains. Not having more than enough. If you think you have enough, then you can now feed the whole church. Let us know. Not having more than enough is pain. When you start calculating how much is palm oil, how much is granite oil, you have to buy, but you don't have more than enough. Are you pain? Are you disaster? You shall not dwell in my home. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Every pain, every physical pain, every spiritual pain, every medical pain, every disaster in my life, you cannot stay in my home. You cannot stay in my home. In the name of Jesus. Every sickness, you are a pain. I disown you today. Oh, yeah, pack your load and go. Leave my home. Leave my children. Leave my siblings. Leave my loved ones. Oh, you pain of poverty. Pain of sickness. Pain of joblessness. Pain of barrenness. What are you waiting for? Your day is up today. Your day is up today. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Arise and destroy every pain. Arise and destroy every disaster. In the name of Jesus. That is dwelling in my home. By the power of God. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Powers of untimely death. Powers of untimely death. We have heard stories, people, they will say she or he went to sleep, never woke up. It shall never be our portion in the name of Jesus. It shall never be our portion in the name of Jesus. Powers of untimely death. My home is not available. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Powers of untimely death. My home. You cannot stay in my home. In the name of Jesus. I say scatter by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. In the blood of Jesus. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Unwanted guests from my ancestors, you are not welcomed in my home. You are not welcomed in my home. Disappear by fire. Disappear by fire. You cannot locate my home. Oh, you ancestral spirits, you cannot let, locate my dwellings. Oh, yes, scatter them. Unwanted guests from my ancestors, you are not welcome in my home. Disappear by fire. My home, the address is not available to you. In the name of Jesus, you cannot come to my home. You cannot come to my home. In the name of Jesus, you cannot come to my home. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Witchcraft monitoring pass. Your time is up. Become blind. They monitor you. They monitor us. Today we are going to blind them. They will be deaf. They will go deaf and blind. And go dumb. In the name of Jesus. Witchcraft monitoring pass. Your time is up. Become blind. Become deaf. Become dumb. In the name of Jesus. Pray. Every witchcraft monitoring powers. Your time is up. Become blind. Become deaf. Become dumb. In the name of Jesus. Today, I scatter you. I scatter you. You have no dwelling place in my life. You cannot perform your crafts. In my name, in my house, in my life. Oh, you witchcraft monitoring powers. I blind you with the name in the name of Jesus Christ. You are deaf. You become dumb today. You cannot speak any longer. You cannot hear any longer. You cannot see any longer. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now listen to this. Oh, God of prophet Dr. Emmanuel O'Malley. Send my divine help from above today. Demand for it. Demand for that divine help from above. You are, a, you are here today for this convention. Demand for this divine help from above today. Oh God, our prophet, Dr. Emmanuel Mali. Send my divine help from above today. In the name of Jesus. Oh Baba, Father Lord, I decree and declare into my life. Oh, divine help from above. I need divine help from above. Prophet Dr. Emmanuel Male, your God will send me divine help today. Your God will send me divine help today. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let, let, let me tell you something. Some of us are not really praying. But then, any disgrace in my womanhood any disgrace in my womanhood. I want us to know what we are praying for. Any disgrace in my womanhood. What are you still waiting for? Disgrace in your womanhood could be barrenness, could be singleness. Your husband, your spouse not loving you as he's supposed to love. And that side chick is there. He's giving him, she's giving him all the love. Shout fire. It's a disgrace in your womanhood. Any disgrace in my womanhood. What are you still waiting for? Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Disgrace of barrenness. Disgrace of childlessness. On marital favor, <laughs> every disgrace, whatever you are called, today you are dead. Today you are dead. Today you are dead. Disgrace of not having job. Today of disgrace of your husband not loving you. Kill that disgrace today. Kill that disgrace today. Any disgrace in my womanhood, what are you still waiting for? Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh God, my Father. Any falling and rising in my life. Be terminated now. 
be terminated now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, any falling and rising in my life today, now, be terminated. I command you to be terminated. Falling and rising, hear the word of the Lord. I terminate you. I terminate you. I terminate you. You cannot stay in my life any longer. Oh, God of heaven and earth is against you. In the name of Jesus. Pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Spirit of barrenness and death. Barrenness is not just not having children. Poverty is barrenness. You are beautiful because there is no money to make up. You think there is no ugly woman. When you don't have money to buy that lipstick and powder, it, you are barren. Any barrenness in my life, any death in my life, today, be removed in my life and in the life of my family. In Jesus' name. Oh, God of heaven and earth, every spirit of barrenness and death be removed in my life today and in the lives of my families. In the name of Jesus, spirit of barrenness, I speak to you now, be removed. Spirit of death, I speak to you now, in the name of Jesus. You are dead. 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 In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh God of Pastor Dr. Deborah O'Malley. Favor me with a loving spouse. God fearing children. And a beautiful home. In Jesus' precious name. Oh God of Pastor Dr. Deborah O'Malley. Favor me with a loving spouse. I thought I could hear the singles louder. Praying for spouses. I thought I could hear them louder. Oh God of Pastor Dr. Deborah Male. And if you are praying this prayer, your husband, your spouse is not giving you love. If you pray this prayer, if you pray this prayer, his heart or her heart we become sweeter today in the name of Jesus. You can see our papa and our mama. Have that as you are praying this prayer. Look at your home. Oh God of Pastor Dr. Deborah O'Malley. Favor me with a loving spouse. God fearing children. And a beautiful home. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Oh, God of Prof. Dr. Pro, uh, Deborah O'Malley, today, today I cry out to you. God of Pastor Dr. Deborah O'Malley, I cry to you today. Give me a beautiful, a loving, a nice, a kind spouse for my children in the name of Jesus. Give me God-fearing children. Give me God-fearing grandchildren. In the name of Jesus, beautify my children's homes with your loving kindnesses. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise by your mercy. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. The service is opened in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Can somebody give Jesus some praise in the house? Can you shout for Jesus? Can you shout for Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sons of daughters of prophet tomorrow, rise on your feet and give God a shout. He cannot just be sitting down like that. I want you to rise on your feet. This is another convention, 2022. And you are just sitting down like that. A daughter of a prophet is a prophetess. And a son of a prophet is a prophetess. I want you to rise on your feet. 
and make a joyful noise to Jesus. Some people are still sitting down. I want you to rise on your feet. If your neighbor is not connected, you can leave that neighbor. I want you to jump and give God a shout. Some people are still sitting down. Last year convention, some people are here. But this year, Lord made it possible for you to be here. So you want to voice up and praise God this morning. Because our God is an awesome God. Our Lord is good. I see no boogie, Jesus, Suma. Disappointing him more. Come back here, where are you? Where are you, sir? Disappointing more. Somebody join your hands to Jesus. Ah ha! Are you ready? Are you bringing up your white hand now? Are you ready to praise God now? Are you ready? Okay, let me see you. Ah ha! Hallelujah. Are you ready to praise God? Oh yeah, let's go. I want you to give God a dance something. Yes, I yes, I yes, I know it is. I got a witness in my heart of belief. Standing on the right side, looking up above, yes, I'm sure. Jesus, please now. I want you to clap your hands together. Clap your hands together for Jesus. Let's go there. See, let me tell you something I don't know. The Lord has given you privilege to be in Tabernacle this morning. So you're gonna lose yourself and praise God. Say somebody lose yourself and praise God. Hey! situation you think you're passing through. If you know that Jesus lives from January to June, Jesus has kept you alive. Jesus is living in your house. You put your hands. Aya. Aga. Aga. Ida. 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 Oh yes, sir.
children, let's go. Oh, yes, sir. Somebody wave your hand like this. Raise it. Raise it until you're happy. Let's see you.
devil is dealing with you. They will not have mercy. You see today, this oppression massacre, oppression bulldozer, oppression scatter them, oppression run the match, oppression killing them for us. That's what we are doing today. Are you ready? Carry me to Yama, carry me to go, to go, to go. I want you to tell Jesus to carry you now. Oh, yeah, now. If not like this, sir, follow me and go. Oh, yes, sir. Carry me, Waka. Yama, carry me to go, to go, to go.
Revelation. Don't look at me. Just do a prophetic something. Clap your hands. You're clapping your hands like this. I am telling you by the grace of God you are taking over. God of Obama is giving you that. That you need in your life. God of Deborah is giving you that. That you need in your life. Oh yeah. I say I feel like clapping. are very strong. You are going to jump now. Are you ready? Let's go. As you're jumping, you're jumping away. Everything that's in the body of your life. Hey, I say I feel like jumping. Somebody jump like this. Are you jump now? I say I feel like
to receive. We 
worship and we give you praise. I tell them and I go tell you. for you. I said it is war. Hey. You must say what belongs to you today. Hey. Divine help must rest on us today. That's the team of the program. Divine help must rest. You must rest on us. Any bit of energy for you. And you are sitting down like that. You have to jump it. Hey! Any bit of energy for you. Somebody is not doing it well. Uh -huh. Overtaking is allowed though. Any bit of energy for you. Hey! Some people are doing it. If you are not sick, you can be on your feet. Jump and pass. That's what the song says. Peter and dig for you. 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 When I am Mama, I dig a more. Papa, I dig a more. Hallelujah. I like the people here. See how they are jumping it. Are you ready? Any Peter and dig for you. Peter and dig for you. Peter and dig for you. When I am Nepal, I dig a more. When I am Lalo. Digamo, 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 when are your friend 90 Gamo, when are your husband 90 Gamo, when are your wife 90 Gamo, now who say you go jump on me? Hey, somebody shout! You are what the you Lord. You are what the you Lord. Everybody say. Everybody say. Jesus, the hour has come. You are just sitting down like that, happy? Okay, now. Oh, yes, sir. Jesus, all who are Jesus, all who are Jesus, who are Jesus, all who are Jesus, who Jesus, all who are Jesus, who Jesus, all who are Jesus, who 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 Something. 
He cannot come to the presence of the Lord. You've been doing like this. Jesus. No. You take it by force. Hallelujah. So we are going to sing that song again. Hey. Jesus. 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 Call your name. Any evil altar, they will mention your name. And you are in the house of God. In the east, in the north, in the west, in the south. Holy Ghost. I want you to face like this. Any evil altar, when they will keep your picture, when they will mention the name of your family, when they say you will not move forward. Holy Ghost. Somebody first like this. First to the west. First to the west. Any evil altar. Where they keep your picture. The pictures of your children. The picture of your husband. The picture of your business. The business where you're eating from. Holy Ghost. First to the east. Going to the east now. Any evil cover when they drop your picture, the picture of your children, the picture of your family members, and say you will not move on. Holy Ghost! Are your face like this? We are facing to the north now. This is not any evil altar when they drop your picture. The pictures of your children, the pictures of your husband, the pictures of your progress, saying you will not move forward. 2022, Holy Ghost! Right, let's go. Uh -huh. Do like this. Holy Ghost fire. 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 You said my enemy so. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, anywhere they measure my name, anywhere they call my name, anywhere they measure my name, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, God of Humana is going to scatter them now. Are you ready? To scatter them now. Are you ready? Oh yeah, oh yeah. God of Omale, pursue them. You say. You are standing like that. And you want God of Omale to scatter them for you. And you are sitting down. You are sitting down. You want God of Omale to scatter them for you. And you are sitting down. Okay now. I say God of Omale, pursue them. You say. Somebody, do you have anything in your hands like blue? Anything you're holding in your hands? It signifies blue. I want you to do something prophetic right now. You're going to either sweep them like this. You scatter them like this. You sweep them out of my life. Out of my way. Out of my progress. Out of my business. I am out. 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 God of Umale, pursue them all. Let God of Umale scatter them for you. Somebody scatter like this. Scatter them. Come here, you're standing like this. Scatter them this way. Scatter them. Destroy them. Cut your head. Cut your leg. Cut your hands. Everybody do this. Scatter them. I say, God of Umale, pursue them. Overflow! Oh 
overflow. Are you ready? Do you want God to scatter them for you? Do you want God to fumal to scatter them? I am come close. Bring something in your hands. You are going to use it and sweep them away. Anything that not put your life. With the mouth in your hands today. God of Fumala will scatter them. Are you ready? In the house of God, let me tell you. There is no gentle woman. There is no gentle man. That is why the Bible says the house of God is fullness of joy. So whatever you do, now, that's what God will give you. If it's not that they will scatter. If it's not like this, they will not go. But when you do something prophetic, God will give it to you. Are you ready? Oh yeah now. I say God of Omale for shoot them. God of Omale Oh yeah, somebody scatter them. Sweep them away from the road. Scatter their heads, scatter their legs. Any mirror they are using to monitor you. Holy Ghost. Oh yeah, kill them for road. Any mirror. Any gadgets. They are using to monitor you. Holy Ghost. Oh yeah, now. Scatter them like this. Sweep them like this. Sweep them like this. Let's go like this. Oh yeah, now. God of Omar, ever shoot them. God of Omar, let's scatter them. Oh yeah, now I want you to dance. God has given you that victory. God has blessed you today. After today, do you wish? You're going to be blessed. Are you ready? You go on no chance. Baba, you go on no rugi. Do you know that song? Do you know that song? You are telling God to sit on his throne. That is the meaning of that song. Then you're sitting where God is supposed to sit. Somebody rise on your feet as you give God his seat tonight. Some people are still sitting down. You got to no chance. Baba, you got to no rurugi. You are going to tell God to sit on his throne. Somebody face your seat like this. Face your seat. We are doing something prophetic. You are telling God to sit on his throne. Mama, stand up. Tell God to sit on his seat. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, Oh, yes, sir. 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 Oh, yes, Break every iron, every iron that is not of God in your life. Iron breaker is breaking them. Are you ready? Ah, uh-huh. iron breaker, be a war. Iron breaker, be a war. Iron breaker, be a war. Iron breaker, iron breaker. Daddy, iron breaker. Jesus, iron breaker. Iron breaker. Jesus, I am Burakale. Jesus, I am Burakale. I am Burakale. Jesus, I am Burakale. Jesus, I am Burakale. I am Burakale. I am Burakale. Jesus, 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 I am Burakale. 
are going on. We are in the warfare praise. Nothing with us is a warfare praise. When you connect, God will help you to finish them. Now, we are going to march on their head. Hallelujah. So if you are sitting down, stand up. If not, your, your, your neighbor will march on your head. Is it possible? Someone say error. If I say matcha, matcha, say that don't fall for God, you say matcha, matcha. Any power that said you will not make it this year, you're going to march on their head. 
any neighbor, any evil neighbor that said over their dead body, will you and your family make it this year? You are going to march on their head. Are you with me? See, let me tell your neighbor, give me space. If you are sitting there, I've said it again. Stand up. We are in the house of God. God of Prophet Omar is alive. And he's standing here with us. Forget that mama and papa that are not here. Wherever they are now, they are watching. And God is using them to remove anything that is not of God in your life. We are going to say, Macha, Macha, and say, Don't fall for grand, though. We are going to do it three times. Some people are still sitting down. Okay, now. When it go happen, no say na 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 house of God it happen. No say na house of God it happen. Yes. See, instrumental is follow me. See, number one, macham macham. Number two, macham macham. You stand where you are. Then number three, you're going to turn around. So I said, give you, tell your neighbor, give me space. Let me tell you, your eyes will turn you, but don't worry. As your eyes is turning you today. So shall the eyes of your enemy turn in Jesus' name. Amen. So instrumental is the last one. You say, macham, 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 macham. Are you ready now? Let's go. Are you ready? If you can remove your shoe, remove them. Me, I'm removing my own. Yes. Today, not today. Devil go here. I'm not going to leave my comfortable home. And I come in the presence of the Lord. And you say, I will not go with my blessing. You are a pastor. That devil is a bastard. Are you ready to dominate? Are you ready to take over? Let's go. Oh, yeah, match and match and set and for for grand. Some people are not matching. Some people are just saying, match and match and match and match and match it, match the hair. Match and match and set and for for grand. Are you ready for the last time? You are two together. Ships. Ships are going to turn. See, Mama, there, don't fall out. Mama, Mama, come here. They will fall you. Come this way. Please. Anywhere you are, turn from there. That's why I said, they are unable to give me space. Yes, they are going to turn. If I say stop, it's stop. Your eyes will turn you. Immediately, you go to your seat and sit down. Are you ready? The last one now. Instrumentalist, are you there? Oh yeah, my chum must and set and don't fall for grand. Oh, I'm not going to go for grand. Oh, I'm 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 Give God a shot. Yeah. You are sitting down already. <laughs> the devil go yard on today. By the time Papa hand over, by the time Mama come down, hey! somebody shout. See that bastard I say you will not take it to see. See, we are still going to praise God. You're sitting down. Hey, Mama is ready. Let's go. Kene no ye keri guenua. Kene no ye keri guenua. Kene no ye keri gue. Jesus! People are just sitting and say, That song say, Give thanks to, to God of heaven and earth. He said, Bow before him and give him thanks. We are going to take it again. Jesus! Savior, Savior, Savior.
Lorie, 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 Lorie,
celebrate her place. She is also the untiring head pastor of the church. Queens, celebrate our father, our general overseer, Prophet Dr. Emmanuel Omale, the prophet of liberation, the lion standing on the shoulders of Jesus Christ. And above all, I commend you to the Lord himself, Jesus Christ, our all in all. Please celebrate the God of Omale. He reigns. He reigns in power and majesty, and his wonders among us never ever ceases. Hallelujah! There is so much for your benefit here today, so I will quickly introduce the fellowship as we take the news. The Divine Women in God's Service, Dearings, is an interdenominational fellowship with a given mandate to care, love, and show concern to the wounded and helpless. Dewey's is raising an army of godly women who will carry the ark of prophecy to the nations. Now, here is the news from our previous service. Previously at the prophetic healing and deliverance service, we strengthened our stance of total freedom as we worshipped, praised and praised our way into new levels in God. The testimony time was a proof of wholeness secured as many came to give glory to God for his faithfulness and power to restore. Great grace was released by the reason of the anointing as the prophet of liberation led us through a series of prophetic lineage repairing prayers. All you delay finances, all you delay builders, let it come out, let it come out, let it come out. Your life is changing, it's coming to you now, your heart is receiving it. Your is Take it now. Lazarus sought from evil enigmas, starting with the deliverance of this lady from an evil mandate in her lineage. <laughs> How dare! Have no peace in our home! He will never give her peace! Her husband has issues. Challenges. Not until he married her, he made a great mistake marrying her because we are with her. We are with her because we never leave her. She is our queen. She's your queen. She never realizes her cheer. Is there a range prepared? We are waiting for her. She was occupied that chair. She did not have a mind. We gave her tempered. So now what will happen to her mind? Then her husband starts to pick offense. Yes. That is what you have done. There's no way she will live in peace. But she just developed a simple life. What are you planning for their mind? I want her out of that marriage. If she marries, she can never be our queen. Oh, you demon. Today I'm going to cast you out. Now, in the name of Jesus, come on, come on, come on, come on, manifest yourself, come on, manifest yourself, come on, out, 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 spirit of wilderness, spirit of anger, come on, 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 go to the pit of hell, and you made that to an eternity. In this service, we saw the deliverance of this woman who suffered a long lasting oppression that stopped her from progressing. I want to kill her. See the way you love us. You have been following her up and down. Why? Speak loud. Which name the father give her? You don't like the name. Which name? Why you want to talk to the devil? As, As you follow, follow her, what, what will happen to her? She will not progress. Who are you? She is my sister. What, what is, is your name? Sadetu. Sadetu. Sadetu, what is your link with her? She is my sister. She is your sister? Yes. Sadetu, are you the senior? Yes. Why do you do that to your junior sister? I don't want her to progress. What do you do to her marriage? Because she should not marry, I don't even want her to even have issue. But 
I should not be involved. Can you give me the reason why I should not be involved? Just leave her to die. Just leave her to die. I know where you put the star. You put it where they are cooking. Under that ground. Where they are cooking with fire. Dig it out. Dig it. You are not allowed her to come. I give her sickness this morning. So she will not come. Dig it. Dig it. Put it on her head. Yes. One, two. Three. Take, Take off your hand and go. 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 To the pit of hell. The grace of God in this service was huge with signs and wonders and more proof that in divine hand, every day is a testimony. To watch the full videos of these reports, please stay tuned to our program schedule on DHTV and log on to the YouTube channel of the Prophet of Liberation called Prophet Dr. Emmanuel Omale. Blessed be God forever. That was the news from Thursday's Deliverance Service. To watch full details of that service, you can log on to the YouTube channel of the Prophet of Liberation called Prophet Dr. Emmanuel O'Malley. Please pay attention now to get acquainted with all our regular service activities. Join us on our service days. Prophetic Communion Service, first Sunday, 3 p.m. A night of praise and miracles, third Friday, 10 p.m. Prophetic anointing and impartation service, first Thursdays. Divine Women in God's Service, second Saturday, 2 p.m. Prophetic healing and deliverance services, Thursdays. 3 p.m. Please remember that Abuja Night of Praise and Miracles for this month holds next week Friday on the 17th of June, time 10 p.m. Make effort to invite your family, friends, and neighbors, and the Lord bless you as you do so. God is calling you to come bring your long-lasting desires to life on the third Friday of the month of June at the Abuja Night of Praise and Miracles on Friday the 17th of June 2022 the time 10 p.m. at the Divine Hand of God Church Auditorium number 638 Durumi District Gauki Area 1 Abuja signs and wonders will abound and you will receive a tailor-made insight to have the right perspective throughout 2022 with prophetic push from Prophet Dr. Iman O'Malley and Pastor Deborah O'Malley. I have a mandate to bring you out. I have a mandate to free you. May life say yes to you. May your door be open. Call 080-3848-5929. For more details, you can also watch us live on Divine Hand TV, all social media platforms. God bless you as you come. Now, Queens, take note of other Dewings Fellowship activities. Prayer is our secret. The Dewings Intercessors Group meets once a month to uphold the fellowship in prayer. Second Wednesday, time 3 p.m. That's the Wednesday before our monthly fellowship. Please join us. We also have a one-hour prayer session before the monthly Dewings meeting. 12 noon to 1 p.m by the testimony stand on fellowship days like today. In case you ever miss a service or need to watch it again, don't worry, all our services are on DVD. Please get them regularly at the church store just outside the main auditorium. You can also purchase other ministry materials for your personal use at the church store. Also get the spray healing water by which God has been working great miracles. Now, for a few more information you may need, the television arm of the ministry is called Divine Hand Television, DHTV, a global channel transmitting the same power and anointing of God 24 hours a day. You can get DHTV on all free to air decoders. DHTV also has a strong presence in South Africa 24 hours a day. 
through to DSTV channel. Channel 36 on DSTV Public and channel 1062 also on DSTV Public through the Explorer Decoder. The worship experience with Pastor Deborah O'Malley is an unforgettable experience. The program airs on Divine Man TV every first Friday at 7 p.m. You can always join online as well as anytime. Just follow Pastor Deborah O'Malley's social media handles for updates. We also have a well-established and vibrant presence on all social media. Please visit the social media pages of the ministry, the prophet and the head pastor, for deep and exciting ministrations using the following handles. The YouTube channels of the Prophet and Senior Pastor are loaded with great content all the time. Please subscribe. Kindly engage actively on our social media posts by liking the post, commenting and sharing. We always celebrate Divine Hand TV partners because they help to keep the channel on air all over the world. Now the doors are open for you to join them. In Divine Hand, everybody can be a covenant partner. We have three categories of partnership. One, church maintenance partners, who so monthly sits with a minimum of 1,000 naira. Two, Divine Hand TV partners, who support the media arm of the ministry through radio and TV evangelism. Monthly seats and pledges by TV partners are paid to the accounts currently showing on the screen. Three, covenant partners. Please get on board and begin to enjoy the blessings of God in abundance. To register to become a covenant partner, you can call the number showing on the screen. The Lord bless you as you do so. The Divine Hand Restaurant is open every day of the week, serving delicious and nutritious foods, snacks and drinks. Please save and memorize the Dewings prayer line for your inquiries. Prayer and counseling 0099398888. And in case you have not been receiving our messages or you are not on our WhatsApp group, please send us a message on this number. Before we conclude the news, Queen, I hope your expectations are high because God is here. Let's quickly hear some expectations gathered earlier. I came here because I needed to seek the face of God and to see what the women do here. But the most important uh, thing that I came here for is because I needed um, uplifting and uh, more grace in my own ministry. My name is Rosemary Noy. I'm from Delta States. And I'm here for a change of story and a new beginning. I've been seeing what God has been doing in this commission. So I'm here to partake of the blessing and the deliverance. My name is Blessing. This is my first time of coming here. I came, I want God to bless me and my family financially. I want God to favor me and my family, also my husband. So that's what I came for. My name is Virginia. I'm from Cross River. I live here at Kurudu. I'm expecting God for open doors in my family, a life partner, good job, and divine healing in my life and my family members. My name is Elada Nimfas, and today is my first day of being in this church. I want God to favor me and my husband. My name is Achoma Ekenono. Um, I reside here in Abuja, so I've been hearing a whole lot about this. I said, okay, I have to be here. 
in order to tap from the blessings of God. So I'm here for God's numerous uh, blessings, such as finance, marriage, home, and so many God's blessings. This is my name is Sir Moses Timothy. I came from Niger State, but I reside in Abuja here. I am here for God's blessings and God's intervention in my family. I am my name is Samuel Grace. I want God to heal me because I've been battling with the spirit of madness for five years now, and I want marriage settlement. Thank you. We receive our good expectations done in Jesus' name. Please, Please don't, don't forget, forget to testify here. here. That's, That's all for now. now. Remember, Remember the God of Emmanuel O'Malley answers prayers, prayers and he will meet you all at the point of your needs. Have an awesome time in God's presence. God bless you all. Amen. today I can see the smiles and the excitement please can you just rise on your feet just rise on your feet God has given us this day and it's so special in the year 2022 God decided to send this voice and this message to us praise God it's called divine help. I don't know whether you understand. In a time like this, for such a time like this, God is sending a message to us. Divine help. I don't know whether you need divine help. Whether our country or your family needs divine help. Do you need divine help? Please put your hands together. This God will not abandon you. He will always show himself when you least expect. And today, God will be speaking to us and God is going to be giving us the dimensions with which we can take our steps or we will set our feet upon the level ground as far as destiny and as far as our families are concerned. Once again, put your hands together. And we also, let's show some love for our mama for putting this together. Show some love, please, your hands. Awesome. Hallelujah. You can see I'm in a short agbada today. I will soon be wearing the full agbada. Praise God. 
That devil that wants you to be down, God will bury that enemy. In the name of Jesus. We are so excited. This one came to us as a gift and we cannot treat it lightly. It's a special program and a special event. Whether the devil likes it or not, it must stand. It's the sure word of the Lord. And we believe that today, many families will be liberated. Many homes will be transformed. Destinies are going to receive greater stars. In Jesus' name. You know, as usual, you know, we always will have a talk show. Please be seated in God's presence. And just make yourself comfortable because you are sitting as queens and as kings. Praise God. I've been given this authority by, the, by our mommy and uh, the, the convener of the program, you know, to be able to uh, anchor this. It's a sure privilege for me. And I accept this. Mama, thank you so much. Praise God. Uh, next time, one of our mommies are going to be handling this in a special way. Praise God. Don't, don't mind me. I didn't put a touch of red on this one. Amen. Hallelujah. There's going to be a talk show. And it's going to bother about the general public. I mean the general congregation. And then the singles and the married. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days, I'll be held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up till I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. On my life, you have been faithful. On my life, you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Yeah, 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 on my life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heaven's Harmony. That was a special one. Hallelujah. So like I was saying, um, we're going to be having a talk show. It's a discussion straight from the heart that borders the singles, both spinsters and bachelors. That borders the married, the men and the women. There are two sides of the coin. And that also borders the generality of the viewers, some have some questions that may have been bothering them and they feel like this should be treated. Praise God. We won't take your time. We just want you to know that straight from the heart, some questions are going to come our way. While you will be ruminating on it, God will be giving us answers. Did I hear your amen? God will be giving us answers, and this is intended to bring transformation. It's intended to lighten our path for the journey ahead, both for the singles, the married, and for the general uh, consumption of the congregation. Praise God. So with Jesus' joy, I like to call the participants i like to call the participants to the stage. We have Brother Amos who will be speaking for the singles. Single bachelors. Is Amos around? Please, quickly. And we have Sister Gracie Ogolo, 
Paulinus. Please put your hands together. You know that it's not easy. And our mama who is going to is going to chair most of the things and spice the whole event. You are not clapping, please. We also have Dr. Vanessa. And Mrs. Maryam Hassan. Please, your hands. Your hands. And my humble self, Pastor Rez. Okay, Mrs. Ogaji. All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Queens of Divine Hand of God Prophetic Ministry. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. The day is here. And for more than two weeks, you have been bringing in your questions. So before we proceed, I would like to thank everyone who submitted a question. And by the help of the Holy Spirit, we will do our best to answer your questions. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So to my left... We have a representative, or rather representatives, for the singles. And then to my right, we have representative, myself inclusive, for the married. And we are going to be talking about things that bother a lot of women. So we came to a conclusion regarding these questions based on repetitive questions. What do I mean? We saw that the same questions were coming over and over again from different women. Some messages came to me directly and some to our WhatsApp group. So if you haven't joined the D Wings WhatsApp group, please do so because that's the fastest way we use in disseminating every information. Can we celebrate every king that is amongst us today? Can we celebrate them? D Wings! Let's celebrate Papa. He's also in the house. He's going to be joining us shortly. Let's celebrate him. Oh, Papa is here already. Camera people, you're not doing justice. Can we celebrate him? Apostle David Riolo, celebrate him. Daddy and Elder Ume and Mommy, can you celebrate them as well? Prophet David Omale, I celebrate you. Hallelujah, you may be seated. Thank you so much. So we are going to be starting, and our coordinator for today is Mrs. Miriam as well as Mrs. Ogaji. So looking at the questions, I have more questions here, so as time goes on, I'll bring it as led. So over to you, please. So we start with the singles. How many singles do we have amongst us? Wave your hands. We got your questions, we shall be treating them. And today shall be the end. Papa said something, said if you are looking for a life, come, right? So trust and believe, and that shall be your portion. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord, Queens. Um, number one question, Mr. Amos. What would you look for in a life partner? Praise the Lord. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank um, Papa and Mama for this privilege. Um, as a single, to me, what I look for in a life partner, first and foremost, is one who is God-fearing. Above everything, that person should be God-fearing. Secondly, my life partner should also be attractive. I want to feed my distraction. So I'll go for what will feed my distraction. Then there are other qualities we we'll also look for. Is she homely? Is she, uh, can she do, um, she's she homely? In that, is encompassed cooking, um, other things. Is she also um, somebody that can also relate with the family? 
because you're not getting married just to me. You are getting married to the entire family. Is it a unifier or a divider? These are things I think I look, offers, I look forward to in uh, my partner. I want to encourage everyone to listen to these questions, especially if it relates to you. As a man, he's saying the things he will look for in a life partner. So yes, we may be praying, trusting, and believing God for divine settlement. But some of these things said are things that a man will be looking for. So if you are here, you might be the most beautiful woman. But there are certain qualities that may be keeping you single. We know there are spiritual bondages, yes. But if you are here and you are still trusting God, some of the things he has listed, if there is one or two in it that you are struggling with, work on it. And maybe as the bondages break, the character will also align and your life partner will see you. Can we put our hands together for Bro Amos? He answered that so beautifully. Okay. Miss Grace, this question goes to you. How can one remain confident when everyone thinks you have failed, especially because you are not yet married? All right. Thank you, Mama and Papa, for this opportunity. I'm really grateful. Yeah. How you need to remain confident, especially when you are not married. In society today, a lot of people criticize young people, especially the women. People will be like, at your age, you are not married. What are you still waiting for? People are getting married every day. You don't have a child. But I would advise you to have confidence in yourself. You shouldn't lose that confidence. No matter how they criticize you out there, make sure you're going to get ready to take criticism out there. Thank you. We're not clapping. We might not admit it, but that's one of the challenges that most single women especially go through. When are you going to get married? I implore the church and the general public to stop putting pressure on women and even men. It is better to marry right than marry wrong. The uncles, the aunties, the daddies, yes, we want our words to get married. But instead, do it in love and cancel them on the importance of why it is good to choose a partner early. But don't use it to mock them. There's no single woman that wants to remain single. Am I talking to the singles here? There's no man who is single that wants to remain single. But sometimes, a lot of things are against them. These days, girls are looking for men that have arrived. They call it the soft life. Hallelujah. So you find a man who is filled with the Holy Spirit, who loves God and the things of God, but he cannot force a woman to the altar. And so you see him praying and trusting God. And when you see him, the next thing, when are you going to get married? Of course, we tease our children once in a while. I'll, I do that sometimes. But let it not be something that we do all the time. And then to the women, why is there double standard? There's double standard. Because there's a belief that if you are not yet married, something is wrong with you. And Sister Gracie has said it. Have confidence. There is a man for every woman. So you not being married yet doesn't mean God does not have a plan for you. Maybe your husband is still in America and he has to arrive. Am I talking to us? Maybe you are in Lagos and he is in Sokoto and God is looking for a way to bring both of you together. A broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. Have confidence and believe and trust in God. In the right time and in the right season, your husband will come. Your wife will come. Do not out of desperation marry wrong. All my sisters are getting married. All my friends are getting married. 
Ah, my neighbor is getting married. Then me or you as a mother will come home. See your friend, oh, she's married now. And then you push your daughter into the wrong home. May that not be our portion in the name of Jesus. After this convention, your husband will locate you. The right man that will treat you like a friend, a sister, and will not put you through hardship. That's the kind of man God will give you in Jesus' name. So confidence. Even when they say, just smile. There's no need to get angry. Where is your husband? He's on the way. And when are you getting married? Very soon. Don't be angry. Prophesy it into your future. Where is your husband? He's on the way. <laughs> when are you getting married? Very soon. That answers the question. Amen. Am I right? right? Can we celebrate Jesus in this place? Brother Amos, the next question is, how do you overcome the fear or shame of being single? Mama has given you some expo there, so... If you Praise listen the Lord. to him. And there's nothing to be ashamed of being single. <laughs> it's a stage of life that always fades away yes. with time. Yes. And once, once you trust in God, be rest assured that your time will come. Yes. <laughs> so for Brother Amos, or better, Sister Gracie. What are the qualities you would look for in a man? What are the signs that you will get and you know that, okay, this man is my husband or will be my husband? Men, you need to listen critically now because she's speaking on behalf of, you know, the single women in the house. What are the signs you would look for? Thank you, Mama. Actually, I didn't see this particular question coming. <laughs> I didn't see this question coming. Um, hello, single ladies. We don't need to pretend, you know. Um, I don't really have what I'm looking at in a man. Every man was created by God, or every man is created by God. Um, a spiritual man, you need to be spirited, you need to be a God-fearing. In Nigeria, that is one of the reasons or criteria as women bring. At the end of the day, they will just go for anything. A God-fearing man. Uh, um, yeah, a God-fearing man, a good man that can actually take care of you. I'm not going to say I'm not going to say a rich man, a poor man, a doing well man, but someone that can actually take care of you, your needs, and your family. As time goes on, even if the man is not that rich, we believe that God will do something for you and your family. Thank you very much, ma'am. Can we clap for that answer? We're going to be rounding up the singles session with this, but I want to, um, for every single man and woman here you still have the opportunity to make the right choice. I'm going to read 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4 to 8. So if you're already dating somebody, these verses of scripture is talking about love. We are no longer going to rely on the standard of the world to define what true love is. The Bible has given us a definition that I feel every single man here should look out for when you're going to get married. So you're going to replace love. If you're already in a relationship and you're about to head to the altar, the Bible says love is kind. Use your partner's name. And as you're using your partner's name, use your own name. Am I talking to us? 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4 to 8 says, Love is patient. Love is kind. Please use your name as we are reading it. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. Please, as we are reading it, be using your partner's name. For instance, if his name is Mr. A, you say, Mr. A is patient. Mr. A is kind. Use his name or use her name. And then you have your answer. You know, sometimes you come. Um, 
Papa, Mama, please pray. This is my life partner. Use this. And if the person can pass 80, at least 90% of this definition, you know you're on the right path. But if after reading the verse, none of that definition fits that man or that woman, is it, you said run. run. There's another word. I need, I need different words. Can we, can we have a mic? Yeah. Mommy, Mary, please. Can you go to the congregation? If the person's name does not align with what you are defining, and this is even to us that is married, though, as a woman, put your name there. Put your husband's name there. Bro, Amos said run. I need another word. I said flee. 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 I need another word. Amos. We have run. We have flee. There's a word I'm looking for. Put the mic. Es escape. Escape. Another word. There's plenty. Paroleg. Okay. Another word. Vamos. Vamos. Eh. Another word. Disappear. Yes. Thank you. There's a word I'm looking for. Another word is Jackba. Oh, can we celebrate Sister Grace? In Yoruba, when they say Jackba, it means the, 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 you know, the highest speed you can muster. Hmm? The highest speed. Can I get one more word that has not been mentioned? Woman of God, I celebrate you. Can you put a mic in her mouth? 440. Can we celebrate everyone here? So let me read it again. So that if we need as married women, as married men, as a single man, as a single woman, if you need to go back and readjust yourself, anywhere you are lacking, you, mustn't, you can't have all. You can, if you ask the Holy Spirit to help you. You can, it's possible. So let me take it from the top again. So love is what? Patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. He keeps no records of wrong. Women. It keeps what? No, I need us to say it louder. Including myself. It keeps what? No record of wrong. We are not loud enough. It's like we are guilty. It keeps what? If you are not saying it, you are a suspect. Love keeps what? No record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It protects. Love protects. It always trusts. Women, it always what? It always what? Always hopes. Love always hopes hopes for the best. No marriage is worthless. If you have hope, I've said something to us before. When you curse your husband, you curse yourself. And I gave us a message. I said sometimes you might feel the man, oh, I want to curse him. But do you love yourself? Wave your hands if you love yourself here. Wave your hands. Some people are not waving. You don't love yourself. God will help you. To love yourself. If you love your own self, because as you curse that man you're about to get married to, you're already preparing the foundation of what you will enter. As you curse that woman that you're about to get married to, because there will surely be misunderstanding, you're already preparing her to be who she will be. Right? Same thing goes for even the men. You curse your wife because you are angry. You curse your husband because you are angry. You are describing what they should be now. Love always hopes. And it always perseveres. Fight to the end for your partner. Fight to the end for your wife, for your husband. Easier said than done. But with God, all things are what? So thank you, Bro Amos, Sister Gracie. Let's celebrate all the singles in the house. And so now we'll head to the married. Okay. Praise the Lord. 
This question goes to Pastor Rest. Daddy Rest, are you here? I am here. Okay. <laughs> now listen carefully. How can couples encountering problems in their marriages overcome them? Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, marriage is quite a sensitive thing. And because both came in trust, in agreement to each other, uh, so because of what is required, you know, for both to stay together, to overcome every challenge or every situation that might, that might come their way. And you know, of course, that problems will always come. There will always be disagreement. There will always be some little, little uh, quarrel here and there. But one, uh, one of the things I discover how to encounter problems and overcome them, one, you need goodly counsel from elders. You need goodly counsel from elders. You need to sit with them and understand how they have gone through their parts of lives. Secondly, like our elder used to say, sacrifice. There are things you overlook, not because you cannot say a thing, but you overlook them and swallow your pride. Praise God. Thirdly, you need to develop hope for each other. If you don't have hope for each other, because you are bound to make mistakes. And when you keep pointing at the mistake, you are failing the other person to have trust or have confidence in he or herself. So you develop hope for your spouse. The last one is uh, you need each other's clarity. You know, in most cases, issues that you discuss, you might not understand or they might, you might not be understood at that time. But with time, they say times heal. So I want to see that with this, you can overcome. And I believe with so many other things, you can overcome problems, especially when they come in marriage and how you, uh, how you tackle them, you can overcome them. Praise God. Can we put our hands together for him? I notice a lot of us are not taking notes. We'll be able to remember everything. Take notes so that when you go home, you glance through everything that was discussed here today. The reason why we're doing this is for us to have a general discussion. Right? So let's take notes and celebrate every speaker once they are done. Praise God. The next question goes to our mama to educate us more on boundaries with kids. How healthy choices grow? Uh, boundaries with kids. The Bible has said it. It said, train a child in the way that that child should go. Can we say it together? And that when they grow, they will not depart from it. Children imitate parents. Singles, please, this is also for you. It's not only for married. Children imitate their mothers. They imitate their fathers. Biologically, they're already carrying your DNA and your traits. And also physically, they emulate everything you do. Yes, you may put your children in the best schools. But the training of your child lies on the father and the mother. I don't know where it is written that only mothers should raise the children. Kings, the Bible refers to you as the priest of your home, which means you coordinate the affairs of your home. But yet, when a child is spoiled, they say, ask the mother. But when the child is good, it is who? The father. Which is okay. We don't have a problem with that. Women, are we not capable? We are capable. We are capable. So yes, you want to spoil them with every good thing. But teach them what is right always. I give an example. We love our own children. You love your own child above every other. But when he or she is playing and there's a fight, do not take sides with your child. If you're clapping, you can do better. 
Because when they are little, you can take sides. And they get used to you taking sides. But they will not live with you forever. They will go out into the world where they will meet people that their own parents have trained not to allow any other person bully them, not to allow any other person take advantage of them, to always defend what is their own. My little son, Daniel, he's three. Try and collect his toy. If you're close to us, you can understand what Daniel will say to you. So, in as much as you love your own children, in setting boundaries, always tell them the truth. And train them to be decent. As believers, when they see your child, they should see Jesus. In setting boundaries. Education is good. The math, the English, the biology, the physics. You want them to be the best science students. You want them to take first position. But how is their character? Their character must reflect God. Their character must reflect the things of God. So in setting boundaries, always be fair. And I end it with this. Can we begin to teach our children their language? Am I talking to us here? If you're here and your children can speak your language or your wife's language, maybe you're not married to the same tribe. Please wave your hands. If you're here as a woman, as a man, and you can speak the language of your mother and of your father, wave your hands. Can we see the few number? In setting boundaries, teach your children culture. We want to speak the best phonics. We want them to speak the best, you know, British English, American English. Yes, it is good to. But in setting boundaries, when they know their history and where they are coming from, ha, you have finished work. I'm still struggling with getting my kids to speak all the languages. But at least I'm trying my best. So that when they grow tomorrow, they will not look at me. Mommy, I'm not happy with you. I cannot even speak Igala. I cannot speak Yoruba. Personally, I speak Hausa. I speak Yoruba. I speak Igala. A little bit of Igbo. I understand for Igbo more than I can speak. How did I get here? My parents. My grandmother. She's late. But till tomorrow, I will celebrate her. If I'm speaking Hausa today, you won't know that I'm not Hausa. In fact, I can say I speak Hausa even better than my own language because of the sacrifice of one woman. And I know how far speaking these languages have helped me, especially in our society. Teach our children, teach your children to speak your language. Let them speak all the English in school. I went as far as telling all the house people in the house, who, the person who is Hausa, you speak Hausa to the children. You that is Idoma, you speak Idoma. You that every language, just speak to them. If they don't understand, translate in English and repeat it. I know what I'm doing. And I feel it's something that can help us. Because I come across so many women, our children cannot speak our languages. We should be ashamed of ourselves. Myself, we should be. Our children must speak our languages. In setting boundaries, this will help them. Tomorrow, you don't know if they will be the next governor. God has put it, and then when they go for rally, they cannot even say hello in their language. How do you think that will come? Have you not failed? <laughs> and then your generation keeps coming. They give birth to their own children. They are speaking English to their children. Those ones who give birth, they are speaking English. Before you know, your, your lineage is erased. You know, we worry about my son name, my child, my son name, my son name. Your child is carrying your son name, but cannot speak your language. What are you talking about? I think I've overtalked. I see some kings already thinking about it. I'm doing this so that you think very well. So that when you go home today, some will not even want to answer. Sometimes when I'm speaking, they'll be like, Mom, what are you saying? I am saying it. Oh, you must understand. <laughs> so go home and start it. Set healthy boundaries for them. And I'll end with this. Teach them to eat the right way. 
Teach that one, I don't need to explain it, but teach them to eat the right way. Don't put food as if you're feeding an adult and then you're expanding their stomach. <laughs> you're expanding it artificially, right? Teach them to eat healthy. Every time biscuits, every time sweet. It's not the right way. Even if they insist, as mothers, we should also insist. Eat your meal, and then you get your snack. And even the snack, limit it. You see somebody who is 30, 40, suffering from different illnesses. They say diabetes. They say this one. They say that one. It's all from what you consumed from a young age. God will help us. Have I said enough? Are, are there things that I didn't say? But our children are our future. They are the most important thing. They are the most important thing. And if you, if you set healthy boundaries, when you are old and you cannot walk anymore, <laughs> what you trained, you will see it. Right? Am I saying something here? If I've not said anything, take this one. No. You see, whatever you train now, when you can no longer shout at them and they will sit down. When you can no longer tell them what to do. When they are now the ones giving you food in your mouth. You will see what you raised. God will help us. If you got value from what mama said, please celebrate her once more. You can do better than that. Yes, our next question goes to Dr. Vanessa. Ma, how do you handle secrecy in your marriage? Your partner kept a secret and you, find out, and you found out. How do you handle it? Thank you very much for that question. Thank you, Mama and Papa. I celebrate you. Um, I want to answer this question by saying, as a man or a woman, you have a right to your privacy. You have a right to your privacy. However, there are several reasons why people keep secrets. For some, they do not want to hurt the feelings of their partner, or maybe they do not want their partner's disapproval. But the caveat here is that if you're keeping secrets, it should not be in the line of deception. You could irreversibly, irreparably harm in your marriage. Thank you. Mama, throw some light. Mama. <laughs> For me, there shouldn't be secrets. See, especially if you're single. Tell the man everything so that tomorrow nobody will come. Ah, this guy you want to marry, you don't know she has a child. Yes. Let me stand up for this. Tell him everything. There are people that are waiting to... The moment you bring out your invitation card, yes. there are people that are going everywhere to go and look for what to tell. But imagine if you've told the man everything. Uh -huh. When they come with their gossip, the man will... In his heart, he'll just smile. Yes. Because he already knows. If, you, if you've decided you want to marry this man, oh, and let me tell you one thing. If that girl is your wife, if that woman is your wife, your ordained wife, there's no secret that can break that union. Yes. Dr. Vanessa said it. She said as long as the secret does not lie in deception. But the thing is that for me, there shouldn't be. Do you want to be married and then tomorrow your husband will find out that you were married before? What do you think will happen? Have you not destroyed your home? And then your husband also finds out that maybe they had paid bright price on your head, but it did not work. But because you were desperate to get married, society pressure, you lie to him, you don't mention it. He finds out tomorrow. What do you think will happen? Won't the marriage be dissolved? The same secret that you're trying to protect will tomorrow bites you. For single ladies, single men, you have decided you want to get married. Why are you hiding your phone? <laughs> the boys will not like this one. 
Eh? <laughs> your wedding is in six months. You are hiding your phone. From who? Your husband to be. You're hiding your phone. Why are you hiding your phone? Password. Mommy said it. Eh? Eh? Uh -huh. Password. You put password. Your marriage is in three months. Your wife is out of credit. Or your, you know, partner is out of credit. Or your fiancé, as the case may be. Ah, my credit is finished. Baby, let me use your phone. There's password. Baby, what's your password? Say, give me. Let me open it for you. I cannot give you my password. <laughs> Some people say jackpot. <laughs> Some people say run. <laughs> what did we get again? Vamoose. Some people say 440. There shouldn't be any secrecy from the man, from the woman. You, you should be able to give your, your fiancé your phone for two days. Can you do that? Yeah. Women, you're not answering the question. Women can give, but men can um, Queens, women can give their phones to their husband, but the husbands cannot do that. Do we agree with that? Do we agree with that? I celebrate all the queen in the house. God will give the men strength to release the password in the name of Jesus. God will give them the grace to release every password plus every hidden phone. We shall find it. <laughs> so no secrets. No secrets. I and Papa, we don't hide our passwords from each other. It is the way we started from the very beginning. The moment you have decided you want to marry a woman, you want to marry a man, why are you hiding? What are you hiding? To me, it's a red flag. Maybe there's two children and one woman in one place. After marriage, they will come. That will not be our portion. No secrets. Can we all agree? So if you are here and you people are still keeping secrets, <coughs> go and have a heart to heart and God will help you in Jesus' name. Celebrate mama. That was wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you, mama. Pastores, number eight. How can one handle in-laws and maintain them? <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, it's quite a tough question. <laughs> you know, when, when, when I was uh, thinking on this question, I, what came to my mind is like, in most cases, not all the in-laws, so I beg go, make an attack me. In most cases, in-laws are like monitoring spirit. <laughs> Especially the extended, the extended in-laws. Not... Possibly not the immediate. The immediate, you always see them, they are also minding their business. But those ones from afar, they are looking for your weakness. Why didn't this person greet me? Why didn't pers this person didn't cook this thing? Why is she holding her face like this? You know, there's always one question or the other. And on your own side, you always want to defend. Your wife, on her own side, she's trying to defend. Or oh, possibly she's trying to create, you know, an atmosphere where there will be understanding. Honestly, there is always need for you to seek wisdom. For these ones, if they are attacking you and you don't know how to go about it, honestly, you won't go far. Your marriage will crash. Because at the end of the day, if you're not careful, your spouses can be influenced by that spirit. And, you know, your reactions or her reactions might just end up becoming like you are against them. So, you need wisdom. You need to be friendly and be calculative. When you see them, be calculating. <laughs> be very technical. You know, when you're driving, you are calculating how this vehicle will go this way. Whether it's going to break. That's how you're going to look at most of the in-laws. Praise God. Hallelujah. You need to also develop 
you know, relationship with them according to their strengths and their weaknesses. If this one is understanding, try to relate with that person. If that person is a bit difficult, you know, most of, most, all of us have our different temperaments. So you need to know them in their strengths and their weaknesses and know how you get closer to them. And one more thing, you need to talk less. Listen to them a lot. That will make you to know them. We know where they land. Else, when you talk too much, they know how to sell you out there. Yes. Praise God. Can we clap? Can we clap? Can we clap? Can we clap? Okay. Um, Dr. Vanessa, this question is for you. How can you identify critical warnings, warning signs for your marriage? Okay. This can also be called the red flags. You know, when your partner no longer calls you when he or she is in trouble, when you're not the first person he or she calls, that's a red sign, that's a critical warning. When you're no longer um, cohabiting as husband and wife, you're no longer having sex, that's a critical warning. When you no longer argue constructively, that is also a critical um, no point. Argue. Yes, when you no longer argue, everybody is trying to be nice, I mean, over nice. That could be a critical point, too. Wow. Mm. Wow. wow. Over nice. <laughs> Beautiful one <laughs> from Dr. Vanessa. Um, the next question, Dr. Vanessa, is how can a broken marriage be fixed? Thank you for that question. A broken marriage can be fixed just like a broken car can also be fixed. You know, um, both partners have to tell themselves the truth. You know, they have to come together. Everyone express what you think the problem um, or where you think the problem started from and address, address the problem. Write down what you want to see changed in your marriage. And I believe with um, commitment and, um, you know, um, togetherness, you can both make things work out again. Thank you. I, I also need to add this. Communication. The main thing I believe from my years in counseling, my first, um, second degree rather, is in counseling. We must communicate. And women shy away from talking about the hard things that they are not happy about. Because you feel, you know, your fiancé or your husband will be offended. But what happens is that when you keep those hard things in your heart, they begin to pile up. And before you know, in counseling, you begin to talk to women that are resentful of their spouses. And it is not the man's fault. Because the real issue that is troubling you you are afraid to talk to your partner about it. Be open in your communication. But do it in love and, you know, in, with respect. Men love, in fact, you want your man to carry you like, just respect him. Even if you are not in the mood. Women, can we be real? I see we're not clapping. I'm taking bullets on our behalf. <laughs> Respect that man. So in telling him the things that is paining you, you are still saying that bitter thing, but the way you have put it, he cannot respond negatively. But you are still saying what is coming from your heart. It's not when you sit down, or maybe when he's not in a good mood or something is bothering him, learn to study your man, his emotions. Understand his emotions. There are times you can ask a man for something and he'll give it to you. Women, do we? <laughs> Am I talking to us? Yeah. And then there are times you go to him and he will not answer you. So once you study him, when he's in that mood where he's receptive, communicate with love, communicate with respect. 
Because we women, we have the tendency to shout when we are angry. Am I the only one? Or do I have changed? Uh, even in my sermons, you know, I say I will talk, you know, very... That's not who I am. I want to be me all the time. Right? So, but if there's one thing I've learned through scripture is that women that won, won with wisdom. Not in shouting. Not in fighting. They won every marital battle with wisdom. So communicate with that man. Call him. Sit down with him. Eyeball to eyeball. Sweetheart, I am not happy about this. Nothing will happen. Am I talking to us? Yes. Even if the man is King Kong, tell him how you feel. God will give us that humility to do so the right way. The wisdom to do so the right way. But a, a relationship, a marriage where there is communication, they hardly have issues. They hardly have issues. God will help us. Amen. It's not easy, but God will help us. Because a man is from a different background. The way he was raised is different. The way he thinks is different. You are coming from maybe another tribe, another background, the way you were raised, what you were taught to be right or wrong is different from him. So you must always understand that foundational dynamics. Both of you are different. But communication will fill any void or any gap. Don't get so angry that you stop talking. Dr. Vanessa said something here. He said, when the couples are no longer angry at each other. Men, let me tell you people this expo now. The moment a woman becomes quiet, no matter what you do, she's quiet. Women, I need us to give response. Red Don't go, let me go talk this one. Let's carry the mic into the congregation. After that, I also have one more question for the kings. When a woman is no longer talking or she's no longer angry about an issue, Ma, what do you think the problem is? Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you for this opportunity to contribute. You know, when a woman is no longer talking, I'm, I'm speaking because I've gone through that. Um, you got to a point where you were no longer yes, talking. Yes. Perfect person. I, I became so angry with my husband's character, what he was doing. We've talked about it over the years and he wasn't changing. So it got to a point when I said, well, I've had all my children. What am I disturbing myself for? I can just transfer my love to my kids so that I'll have Women, why are we quiet as <laughs> if there aren't women in this boat? So, so that I'll be happy, you know? That made me happy, and I backed out. I stopped talking. In fact, I started respecting him even the more. I said, well, he's the husband, he's the man of the house. Mm. So I started respecting him more than I was doing before. I was even putting sir whenever I'm talking to him, but I was no longer communicating with him. I was no longer sitting down to talk to him. And that healed my home. Mm. Because it got to a point that he became lonely. He even started complaining to me. Kings, people are we listening? That I don't love him anymore. But here is the woman that was talking before change this, this is not good for our family, this is not good for the marriage. And he wasn't heeding to that. Because like mama said, I was shouting, I was making trouble out of the whole thing. But it got to a point, I stopped making Can trouble. Can we celebrate her? I need one more. When a woman stops talking, if you are here, even if it's not you, you must not answer the question because you've gone through it. Some of the things we are saying here, we say them out of experience of talking as counselors and talking to a lot of people. When, even if you're single, if you've gotten to a point, or you know somebody that got to a point that stopped complaining, what do you think that woman was feeling? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, the marriage uh, institution, it's a business. It's a business. Yes. Can we celebrate the king? Mm. And in business, they say communication is the soul of business. Mm. Now, if I suddenly see that my spouse is no longer talking to me, I will first of all lie down beside her to study when I can strike. I'm a soldier. So we know when to strike. I know if anybody in 
my company is not talking. What they taught us is that there is, a, there is a problem somewhere. Because we need to get everybody going mm. in high spirits. Now, when her spirit is low, it is my responsibility to elevate it for her. Can we celebrate daddy, please? <laughs> it is a sign of weakness that will make a person to keep quiet. I am a talker. So, whenever you see me, if I am quiet, probably I'm thinking of something that has happened in time past. Not even something that happened immediately. Then I will now relate it to what is going to happen in future. I'm a strategist. So, I will quickly look at my wife and follow what the Bible says. Love your wife. If you love your wife, you will see that your child that is with you, that is refusing to talk to you. The child is having a point. So my wife is having a point. And therefore, I will look for when I can easily embrace her. Say, oh, you are my darling. You. There is no separation between us. Nothing can come between us. Not my mother, not your father, not your friends, yes. not anybody. Yes. It is between you and me. Now, talk. What is happening? You say, no, leave me, leave me, leave me, leave me. I will say, oh. <laughs> I will say, okay. If I see that she's not ready to talk, I go and look for what she like. My wife likes cloth. My wife likes shoe. Mm. My wife likes paint. That's a correct, a wife. correct daddy there. And bring. And say, oh. Probably maybe I'm having it, I was having it at home. Even if it's cologne. She likes perfume. I would just go and look for my box. I used to have them in my box. I go and look for it. I said, oh, I've even forgotten, you know. This is what uh, I bought for you the other day. <laughs> can you please, can you please take this as token of my love? And she will open up from there. Yeah, it is this one that you have done. I said, oh, is that what is paining you? Say, oh. Very, very sorry. I'm awfully sorry. The love apology. Uh -huh. So I apologize. Uh -huh. And the moment you do that, you see that you will come back on track. She will start talking. Uh -huh. Maybe later, later, the thing that paint her, she may likely unfold. Yeah. And I'll tell you. Probably it may not even be related to you. It can be somebody else who offended them maybe at work. Somebody who offended them in the family. Or issues that does not really concern you as a man. So, if the only problem that I don't solve with a woman no. is when you talk about your brother or your sister. Because I don't want to be the one that will be in between. I don't have any, so I don't know how you people relate with one another. So, when you talk about brother or sister, I will keep my mouth shut. I don't have such feeling. So, I'm not. because of that, I don't care what you say happened between you and your brother. Once I say, ah, sister... Please, watch it. It is you and me. I and will celebrate, the Daddy. Daddy, Yay! thank you so much. We're almost coming to the end of this segment, but there's something... Um, the queens, this is our opportunity. There are kings in the house that we can ask. Why do you put passwords on your phone? Uh, why do you put passwords? Who wants to tell us why? Maybe there's something the women will learn so that we will understand it. Why do we put passwords on our phone? Pastor Favor, you're passing men. They don't have passwords on their phone. There's somebody to your left there, to your right. Come in, come in, please. There's somebody raising his hand. Praise, praise the Lord. Okay, after him, he will tell us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, a man that puts password on his phone is not uh, totally because of uh, hidden things or a wrong thing he's doing uh, that made him to put that. Uh, after leaving the house, probably in the office or uh, for the sake of your phone getting lost or someone 
getting your phone and getting access to damage one or two things, it's not totally because you are cheating. Let me use that word. That makes men to put password on their phone. Sorry, sir. Are you married? Yes, I am. Does your wife have your password? Yes, very well. Can we celebrate him? You know, okay. She, 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 on her own phone, she, she has password. I have my own password. When she wants to use my phone, she, she knows the password already. Perfect. She puts it and makes use of it and gives it to me. But the, 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 the major thing is, uh, uh, doctor mentioned of, uh, of um, one having, um, having a, 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 a... A right to privacy. A, a, a right to privacy. Yes, a right to privacy. That, that was what, what I was looking for. You, you, that I'm married to you, fine, the love is there, but I have my life to live, you have your life to live. It, it, it's, not, it's not that I'm doing it shows that I don't love you, no. That, that I'm doing that doesn't mean that I don't love you. I, I live on my world, you live on your world, you, you have your friends you talk with, I, I mustn't necessarily, necessarily interfere all the time. Yes. You know, my, my phone is my private it's my private thing, and yours is your private thing. Women, are we Please. agreeing with the explanation? No, no. Please, are we agreeing? I don't, I don't understand. Let, okay, <laughs> let, 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 let me... Round let, up, sir. Let, let me, let me, let, okay, let me make my point now. Yes. What, wait, what my wife wants to use my phone for, she can do it. That doesn't mean I'm not putting any boundary. Mm. I'm not putting any demarcation or any gap. This is my world. I am in my world. Yeah, yeah. your world. In my world. In my world, I mean, I do my business. I do my business. I have uh, yes. uh, WhatsApp groups and other things. I, you know, I your get joy. involved. Yes, WhatsApp get groups. Involved. Yeah, I get involved okay. with probably business and all that. Okay, okay. So, the, 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 that I have password or I am on my phone handling my world doesn't mean that I don't love my wife or right. that I, I have a demarcation or something. Queens, are we understanding? Yeah. Can we celebrate him? So, having a password doesn't mean otherwise. It doesn't mean anything uh -huh. to my own understanding. Okay, no. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, on the issue of having a password on one's phone, I don't see it as a problem, although it depends on the individual. Because all, since I got married, all the phones I've been using, my wife is even the person that do create the password for me. <laughs> the, the only phone that I've put in password by myself is the one I started using just January. Mm. But she knows the password. So it's not a problem. I, what I know that will be okay is transparency. When you are transparent, she knows the work I do. We work together. And when you are doing something, be plain to, within yourself. Mm. Conscience is an open wound which can only be healed by truth. Can we celebrate him? Just when you are okay, don't bother yourself. My phone can, at times, you'll be the one even to pick. I might be taking my bed. That I is say, how we phone. should be. That's okay. Thank that you. That is how God we should you. be. Kings, there's one more. Am I this? Okay. Don't be shy. <laughs> Number one. one. To have password on your phone is because of all those bad, bad boys. One. And number two, young boys like us, we don't normally love one woman. Is he talking? He said it. Go ahead, go ahead. I like honesty. Go ahead. We don't normally love one woman, not even two. Uh -huh. Ah, uh -huh, no. my son. Yes, sir. It's honest. Last time, I put a password on my phone. I forgot it. Hey. Because I have, let me just say, I have two girlfriends. <laughs> and guys, in this place. I can probably say that anyone that has a password and his partner did not know whereabouts of the password must have been cheating. Can we celebrate him? That is it. Mommy has been raising her hand, so I'll, I'll let mommy speak. 
So after her, let her speak. Hadia, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mommy, bless you, man. I have one word. There's one, something that you have said it now, doctor, about breaking mar broken marriage. You have never said something there proper. Because to communicate, you can't communicate. I am a victim. Mm. I do everything for my husband. But yet. God used me to raise my husband and I and the home. But at the end, enemy coming. Daddy, no, daddy is aware of it. Even daddy warned my husband. For seven, for five years, sometimes I call my husband. Children are with me. He will say I should not call him without my smelling mouth. I said, smelly mouth, I give you four children, three boys, one girl. This thing continued until last time he came round, I was on the mountain praying in the morning on Saturday like this. He called me that he wanted to discuss with, with me about my children, our children. I said, okay, no problem. That is how I started calling you, pick my call. But it's not... When I call him, sometimes I start telling him, if I say me, I want to come back. That's why I'm calling him. So how can you communicate? We are not even talking of coming back. To communicate and raise our children. How? Daddy warned him that he should okay. not do that, and he did it. He married another woman with two kids now, woman. I have three children, three boys and one girl. And I'm the owner of everything. I'm suffering for that. He took everything. Enjoy with a strange woman now. So how do you come together? What we are saying now? I'm not talking of marriage. To even enjoy my own money, it's I okay, can't. Mommy. It's okay, mommy. Thank you. Um, I'll answer that question before we proceed to... We were talking about the password thing. But this is a question that we need to answer. If your communicating with your partner has failed... The next thing is to extend it to the church. If the church cannot intervene enough, that's why from day one, marry a God-fearing man, and he belongs to a church family. If church cannot intervene enough, you go to his family. If his family cannot intervene, the next place is the government. What do I mean by the government? There are agencies that have been set up. Social welfare that caters to issues that relate to couples where children are involved. A woman can walk away because the devil will come in. A man can walk away because the devil has come in. But on no account should the children be abandoned or what you suffer together to get. And that's why as women, try and develop yourself. Your marriage doesn't mean you will not learn handwork or you will not go further and learn things. Let me tell you, as sweet as it is, when the devil comes, a man can drive you. If you like, be the one that started with him when he had nothing. And he won't give you anything. You will live without a penny. Develop yourself. Be able to love yourself. Am I talking to us, mommy? Ma mommy, God will give you the strength. Because what you have gone through, can we agree that it's painful? Yes. To struggle with somebody and the next day he will carry all that thing and go and marry another woman. Mommy, bring your case to the altar. Plead your cause before God. Bring that man's name to this altar. This altar answers. Bring that woman's name here. See, I tell women, eh, we have grown beyond, eh, you are doing my husband, you are doing my husband. You can be doing nice prayer for some time. Fly away, no hear word. You go follow dead body, enter. Bring your name here. If you've done all you need to do, all might fail. 
You might not be able to communicate. You might, the government might not be able to do anything. But I know a God that is a just judge. A God that is a just judge. He weighs our intentions. Take your case to him. And never stop taking your case to him. Because you don't know what that woman has done to your husband. Let's be praying for our husbands too. Pray for them. Some are sleeping in a coffin to keep him. He's going there to eat. They are putting things in the food. Some are taking his name to an altar. The man where you see as he fine and everything, I saw that women too, they see him. Am I talking to us? Fortify your home. We're going to talk about it, mommy. Don't worry. God will help you. And I'm so sorry for what you went through. The Lord will be your strength. And in the end, you will overcome. By the help of the God of Amale. In Jesus' name. So we're going back to the password and I'm rounding it up after mommy's question. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. Yeah, about the password. Really, it's very important for a woman to know your husband's password. And also my own, my husband knows my password. You don't need to have a secret. That when you are saying you have your own business, the woman has his own business. In marriage, you are one. That's what my parents taught me about. Uh, and you don't need to say, I have the time for my own self. My wife has his own time. It's not done in marriage. Marriage is understanding. When you are suffering, let your wife be your strength. When the man too is suffering, let the, your husband be your strength. The wife will be your strength. That is why we call ourselves one. In marriage is one. Yeah, you have bind yourself together to be one person in Christ. So you, you, when the man is having some difficulty, like just our, our, our daddy here is saying, sometimes you see her quiet. You don't know what is on her mind. That's when you need that time to come and ask your, your wife, your, 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 your partner, what's going on? What's the matter? You have to be there for each that's one of, you have to be there for both of yourself. So about the password, there's nothing there. Like me, I know my husband's password. Sometimes he drops his phone. He don't even know about, you know, he's used good phone, but he don't know anything. He say, dear, please, can you help me? I don't know what these children are putting there. I say, okay, let me help you. So it's nothing. You know when people are saying they are hiding their password, what for? You know, phone is something... And another thing I want to advise uh, marriage in uh, our husband and wife, you don't need to ask, hide any secret from your partner. Because there are some times, the man will be having some difficulties. And when they ask the wife, maybe the family member will say, are you not there when he's passing through? So what are you going to say? You don't need secret in your marriage. I'm still saying it. You have to be one. And when he's trouble, you have to be trouble with him. When he's happy, you have to be happy with him. The same thing we women. When we are troubled, our husband has to be troubled with us. When we are happy, he has to be there. That is why they call us one. When we are in that altar, they, they bind us together. So we don't have to space ourselves. We have your own time. I, this is my first time hearing that. That you have your own time, I have my own time. No. Okay. Thank you so much. Can we celebrate that? I think we must remember the foundation. And this is for those who put passwords on their phones and then their spouses do not know their password for a man and then for a woman. There could even be medical emergency. So, but our daddy will be, you know, imputing on this. So let's hear what our father has to say regarding the password. Can we celebrate him, please? Um, I want to say uh, one thing first before uh, about what Dr. Vanessa said. She said one of the easiest ways of knowing that there is problem is in, in your marriage is when husband and wife don't argue. The Best, the person who will always argue with you, who will never believe, will believe you, is your wife. And when you people don't argue again, I'll quit my 
because I know my wife. <laughs> we, we would always quarrel. That is, you know, if I say something, she will say it's not true. I, say, I tell her, I cannot agree until you have given me what I call um, eh? superior agreement. She must give me the superior argument. We don't worry about it, but I need that superior argument. Your husband, husband and wife will always, it's not quarreling, but you argue. The person who will never agree to what you are saying is your wife. Because he's the person who knows you. Like you start, you, everything about you, your wife knows. So when you stop quarreling, when you start, and I don't want, I don't want to use the word argue. Let me use the word, I, let me, I don't want to say quarrel. Let me say argument. Any day that your wife doesn't argue with you, then suspect something. Thank you so much. Then, can we celebrate him? <laughs> um, the account. What are we talking about today? Passwords. Your, your password or your, 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 the number, the... The, the, the number that... The pin. The pin. That's what we are talking of, the pin. There can be no way in a Christian marriage where a wife will not know the husband's pin number. It's impossible. God says the twin shall become one. And if in any way your wife doesn't know you are pin. There is problem. Your wife must know you are pin. Your wife and yourself, like somebody was saying, I have my business. My wife has her business. There is no such thing. For a man and a woman, there is one business. If your wife doesn't know the type of business you are doing or anything about your business, you are, it's not a Christian marriage. I'm an apostle. I tell you that such a marriage, where <laughs> you say you, are, uh, you have your own business, my wife has her own business, there is only one business between one man and woman who are Christians. One marriage, I mean one business. And there is, there's no separation. Can Thank we celebrate you. our daddy? So, Pastor Rest. Praise God. Um, I, I just wanted to, because um, I was looking at other sides of what my brother was saying. Because of what uh, the society has made of us. We didn't have phones that, were, that had to do with passwords. But when this Android thing came, I hope you know that. When this Android thing came, before you can, the phone will agree with you that you own it. You have to put a password. Because there must be an email or a Gmail. Yes. I hope you understand that. Yes. And that phone now becomes like your personal property. So with that, you know, and then organizational thing. We have emails, we have some files that you want to deal with. Some phones have different, uh, what do you call it now? I mean, the different stages of phone that can store a lot of files. Some, their office is in their phones. And some things you just want to just have how you preserve those things. I'm not saying that there shouldn't be this openness. You can tell your wife, but most time or most, in most cases, you know, when some people want to pry into the organization where you work with. And if such things are discovered or your, friend or your family get to know some things that are very in in internal or classical or confidential, it can be a problem for you. I beg to... Okay, can we celebrate our pastor? Praise God. He's talking from the pastoral angle. We've talked a lot and we're rounding up now because of time so we can 
do other things that God wants us to do here today. How many people are celeb you know, happy for today and celebrating today? We've talked about the password thing, you know, and your wife should know your password. Your husband should know your password. With that being said, do not carry their phones every minute and be checking it. Queens, do you want to live long? Yes. You are not answering me now. Do you want to live long? Do you want to be happy? Do you want your blood pressure to always be minimal? Do you want to not be having a headache? Do you want to have unnecessary prayer points? The phone shouldn't be touched. It shouldn't be touched. It should be far, 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 far away. Once in a while, just, I didn't say anything. As much as possible. Have trust. Have trust. Right? Be so confident in your marriage and in yourself. Let anybody send message. Let anybody do anything. You face your own home. Build it. Protect it. Preserve it. God will help us. Amen. In Jesus' name. Can we celebrate all the panelists? <laughs> celebrate them. By the help of God, we will take more questions next year as we start early. And I'm even thinking during the Wings regular services, we can have this one-on-one -on -one conversations, right? God bless you all so much for coming today. And there's something I need to add, please, is in relation to the password thing. And this is um, in relation to our children. There are so many things that children are looking at these days that are not right. So yes, we want our spouses to have our passwords, but children, if you can afford to get them their own phone, get a phone, put age restriction on that phone so that anything that they are watching, there are certain things that YouTube or social media will not pop up because you already put a block on that phone. But if you're allowing them to use your phone, you must understand there's no age restriction. And so that way they can access information that is too mature for them. You know, parents forget that. We give our words, our children, our phones, and they're on it. But there's no password or setting on your phone. Because you have registered your own, you know, generic email and things like that. So you might give them phone and you are cooking and they're on your phone. You don't know what they are watching with it. So let's be wise in this, you know, age of technology. God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I will lift up my eyes to the hill from whence comment my help. My help comment from the Lord, the Lord which make heaven and earth. He said, He will not suffer thy foot, thy foot to be moved. The Lord that keepeth thee, He neither slumbers nor sleeps. Sing with me. Oh, the Lord is the keeper, the Lord he is my shield upon thy right hand, upon thy right hand. No, the sun shall not smite thee, and the moon the night. He shall preserve the soul, even for it the more. Oh, my help, my help, my help, all of my help, all and from. Lord.
or the theme of this program says divine help and so we have come to say that how I help come from the Lord so I want us to if you know it we can minister it together so we are going to do it again all right I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comment my help Psalm 1 to 1 my help comments from the Lord the Lord will make heaven and queens if you know we sing with us he said he will not suffer thy fault the foot to be moved the Lord and keep it deep he neither slumbers nor sleep for for the song is my keeper, the Lord is my shield. Upon, upon thy right hand, upon, upon thy right hand. No, no, the sunshine of my day by day and the moon by night. It shall bring from the Lord I need you to stand on your feet because the next song we are just going to celebrate God hallelujah are you ready Jesus is in this place come on come on the wings I need you to shout the wings the queens in this house I need you to shout because you have to dance are you
God. Divine women in God's service, dear wings, lift your hands to heaven and just begin to worship God. Worship Him, worship Him. Queen's Harmony, worship God. Lift up a song of worship, your own song that connects you with Him. Worship, I want our voice to be loud. I want to hear us. Let the host of heaven, let him hear us. Let Jehovah hear us. Let the king of kings, let him hear you. Louder, louder, louder. Get into the spirit, the mood of worship. Worship him, worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Somebody worship him. Hey. Worship him. Can our voice be louder? I want to see the true worshippers. Hey. Where are the true worshippers? I just need a few. I need a few. Just a few. Baba mi olawo gbagba Oba nla ton gbo mo re ninu wo fi E leti paroye Ariro ala olorun mi Ka bi o si Eru tete to mi gbo kiti kiti o O pe nu mu ni aso Ala so funfun Oh, ni wa fufu. Oh, ni no fufu. Alade. Can somebody worship God in this place? Can somebody worship God in this place? Ah, uh, you know Deborah is a worshiper, so we must enter into that place with worship, where all our answers will come, where all our petitions will be answered. Olorun to lagbara o Oshubare mare o Take your praise take your greeting Oshubare mare o Olorun to lagbara o Oshubare mare o Power belongs to you. 
the reason why we are God at Jehovah. You are the most I Oh, you are the reason why I am standing, Jehovah. You are the most I your name we magnify your name divine hand honors you thank you for your ever-present help in our times of need your name will continually be exalted on this altar forever and ever thank you for your presence that is already here in Jesus name prayers shall be answered yokes shall be broken in the name of Jesus I see divine help for you, for your family, for your children. Before you sit down, I want us to celebrate Prophet Emmanuel Omale, the father over this house, the queens. Celebrate him. Let's also celebrate Apostle David Riolo, a man that has been of great blessing to us in this place. Let's celebrate him. Celebrate yourself. My mom is a member of this church, but I'd like to celebrate her today. Can we celebrate her? My dad watching. Daddy, I celebrate you. Because when we were having the talks, some of the things I seem to know, I don't know anything. It is as a result of two of you. Celebrate them. You raised me. Hallelujah. It's what you raise that you will. She's seen what she raised. Let's celebrate my mom.
walk to three or four persons. Tell them your time of divine help has come. Your time of divine help has come. Divine acceleration has come. Divine speed has come. Heaven's harmony. <laughs> walk to three, four persons. Some of us who are doing it from our seats. Tell somebody that you normally wouldn't tell. <laughs> Mommy's laughing. Tell, tell somebody. Divine Help 2022. The Wings Convention. My help is in the name of the Lord. <laughs> My help is in the name of the Lord. of the song and connect my help is in the name of the Lord for the Lord for the Lord our God is mighty I have help your help my help your help your help say my help is in the name of the Lord celebrate Jesus us for today. Celebrate Jesus. Please you may take your seats. The queens of the most high God. By the help of the Holy Spirit I'll be sharing a message with us that by his help I have titled Divine Help which is the theme for this great conference. And when I was praying and meditating about the theme and the message for this year's convention. The Holy Spirit ministered to me personally. In my heart, that small, still, gentle voice. And he said, what has brought you this far? He said, Deborah, what has brought you this far? And I knew the answer. Divine help. What has brought even you this far in life? Every child of God that is seated here, what has brought you this far? Tell your neighbor divine help. <laughs> what is divine help? It is help that comes, that is beyond human explanation. No man or woman can explain it, not even yourself. It is help that marvels unexplainable. It is help that comes at a time when everyone has given up on you. It is help that comes at a time when everybody's saying nothing good can come out of this one. It is help that grants you speed in life. It accelerates you faster than you would normally go if you were not working with him. Let's open our Bible to Isaiah 41. From verses 10, it's a long read, but today is our day. Isaiah 41, verse 10. I'll read down to 17, or better still, I'll stop where I'm led to. Fear thou not, for I am with you. Put your name there. Fear thou not, for I am with Deborah. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. Yea, I will upload thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. When the poor and needy seek water and there is none, hey, and their tongue fainted for test. I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the Lord God of Israel, will not forsake them. Divine help. To get to the next level in this life, you must hold on to God. I want to use this analogy. When a plane takes off and all the passengers are inside, and then when the plane begins to go through the clouds, 
you wonder, there is no road. How is this pilot able to navigate? Sometimes you go in through the turbulence and then you come out. And then through the clouds, you see yourself looking out through the window and then you land. There's something that is allowing that plane to do that. There's something called the control tower. I'm not a pilot, I don't know if that's the name, but that's the name I'm going to call it. The control tower is constantly communicating with the pilot. The plane itself is built with the engine, the mechanism to direct you. Some planes are autopilots. The pilot is just there relaxing. The plane is carrying you. You're in the passenger seat, you do not know. Women, we are the control tower. The Holy Spirit is the built-in mechanism in you that directs you in everything that you are going to do for yourself, for your husband, for your children. Divine help is what will help you stand in the face of trial, in the face of lack of communication, in the face where love is dying, in the face where that man is losing patience because you have not brought forth children. In the face where you are not yet married and people have started mocking you. You need divine help. Just the same way that plane cannot get direction and land properly and fly properly. That is how it is with us. We cannot function properly without God. Are we talking about the indices of this world? The wickedness that is going on in the world. We see it here every Thursday, every first Sunday, every third Friday. We see it numerous times every month. Yet, we want to walk through life like we have arrived. None of us have arrived. Am I talking to us? Because we need God for every direction. And that's why... The, the scripture we just read said, fear not. Some of us are living in demonic fear. Can't sleep at night. Worried about tomorrow. Worried about what you will eat. Worried about house rent. Number one point that you must get rid of in your life, in my life, if we want divine help is we must kill the spirit of worry. The spirit of worrying. Who amongst us can add one day to our lives? I want to read Matthew 6, verse 25 to 34. He said, do not be anxious. Jesus speaking said to his disciples, therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about anything. What you will eat, what you will drink, the food, you know what you will put on. For life is more than food and the body more than clothing. Life is more than food. It is more than clothing. How many times can you even wear the clothes you're wearing? No matter how expensive it is, it will not last forever. You might even add weights and not be able to wear it. Am I talking to us? Life is more than material things. Even the best planes can go down. We've had rich men. There's, there's an analogy Papa gives. He said, if you like, be a billionaire. If you like, be a farmer. At the end of the day, everybody. Jesus speaking to his disciples. He said, do not be anxious. Child of God, why are you anxious about your rent? For many years, you were not sleeping on the streets. How were you paying your rent? Do you think it was by your power? Which of you worrying can worry help? Does worry turn into money? Does worry bring children? I want the church to answer me. I just need four or five people. Does worry make you more beautiful? Instead, it even adds wrinkles. Have we heard that, women? The more you squeeze your face, the more you frown your face, you are forming wrinkles. 
You understand? So just smile. And the only thing we should see on each other's face are what they call frown lines. These lines here. In fact, I call them happy lines. Because it is only when you're smiling that it shows. Am I talking to us? He said, verse 25, And which of you, being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? If then you are not able to do a small thing as that, why are you anxious? Why are you worried about the rest? If you worry, does it make you live longer? If you worry, does it add your health? Instead, worry eats the bones. You must train yourself. My help, where does my help come? My help cometh from the Lord that maketh heaven and earth. I am not going to look at the faces of men. I am going to focus on my God. The God that every time we call, he answers. No man or woman comes to God for help and he turns them away. Can we celebrate Jesus? <laughs> divine help. Anyone who is walking in divine help does not wait for humans to, to appreciate them. You can have children, if you like, give them the best things in the world. Once they have money, they forget you. They don't even call you. Worrying. It is a demonic spirit that comes and it will stylishly come into your life. Before you know it, depression will follow. And then you see people committing suicide, killing themselves because of worrying. From today, let that spirit of worry die. Every time that spirit is trying to creep into you, you will resist it. Resist the devil and he shall flee. Resist it. Replace it with joy. I thank God for the grace of God upon this altar. It takes a lot to get Deborah worried. And if you are children of Papa and Mama, Papa's own is even on another level. Worry. Papa, we need that grace. We need the grace. You people know me, I say it as it is. Though. It's not because he's here or because... What do you want to bring that will worry him? <laughs> what do you want to bring? Sometimes when I look at him, some things that are happening, and you see everybody, hey, wait, you see him, you just be calm. Come on now. He has trained himself. Because if you're close to Papa, you know his history. You know that there's nothing that can worry him at this point in his life. <laughs> Am I talking to us? Worrying, it steals your joy. Before you know, you are staying in your room. You don't want to go out. You don't want to go anywhere because you are worried. <laughs> the devil is a liar. In this 2022, we will smile every day. No matter what he throws at you, you will say, "Oh, you devil, you have come. You have no space in this heart. You've got no space in this heart. Oh, you worrying? You have no space in my house." You have no space. I have not given you permission. Because the Bible tells me that I have permission to cast out every demon. The spirit of what is a demon? Agent of darkness. And I'm standing when I'm praying. I say, oh, you agent of darkness. You have no space for worrying in my home. You cannot stay here. I have not given you permission. I've taken authority from the courts of heaven. I have a covenant with the earth. You cannot come near me. That is your prayer. That is our prayer as children of divine hand of God. If you get married, it will make you live longer. I'm not yet married. Mama, every time you are depressed. Whether you get married, whether I don't get married, whether I have children, whether I don't have children, whether you have a big house, whether I don't have a big house, it will not add one day to your life. Happiness is a choice. It is a choice. Whatever you are going through, eh, somebody has gone more. I want to read verse 28. But if God so clothes the grass, which is alive in the field today and tomorrow it is thrown into the fire, 
how much more will he not clothe you, O oh, you of little faith? When you are worrying, you are challenging God. <laughs> if you believe in divine help, if you believe in the supremacy of Almighty God, if you know that he is the one that has kept you, if you know that through every battle he has held your hand and is never letting go. How many of us know that God will never let you go? He will never let your hand go. If you know that you know that you know that it is God that has helped you. Why worry? From today that spirit dies. In your home, in your heart, in your mind, every angle through which it is coming, it dies. And everything that is causing worry, God will solve it. On this altar today, you are not going back the same way. Divine help is going to follow you home. From today, the spirit of help begins to minister. When worry is coming, the Holy Spirit will come and say, no, two of us cannot reside in this heart. <laughs> Are you going to give your room, your heart, your mind, your emotion to the will of God Almighty or to Satan? This is Jesus himself speaking, telling us about being anxious, telling us about being worried, which means he doesn't like it. And what God doesn't like, we will not do in Jesus' name. Number two, you cannot come into your fullness without divine help. There are some of us that have dreams, aspirations. I want to do this before the end of this year. I want to buy this before the end of this year. I want to get married before the end of this year. I will carry my baby before the end of this year. I will save my family from this pattern. Some families have a pattern. Imagine the girl of yesterday. Do you know what it means to bury five children? The sister, the same thing. Think about it for a second. Five. Demonic bloodline patterns. If you must overcome, your tongue must be filled with fire. Your prayer life must be revived to the maximum. You must walk with God and not faint. This week you come to church. Next week you don't come to church. The following week you, you pray. The following day you don't pray. You must pray every day. Jesus speaking said, enough is the trouble for one day. Because everything that comes from the Bible is Jesus inspiring us. Enough is the trouble. Which means he knows that every day of our life there will be trouble. But yet, you say you want to be everything you want to be. And God is not your prayer partner. What do I mean by that? You're not taking him on the same level, but you are communicating with him daily. You want divine help. Ask for it. He said, call me. Tell your neighbor, call me. Call me in the day of trouble and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things. Do you want to see great and mighty things? Do you want to connect? I don't know about you, but I want to see great and mighty things. Things that will marvel the world. Things that will marvel even me. I want to see them. You cannot come to that without divine connection. Everyone that asks for divine help got it. Look at David. How can you explain the son of your enemy giving you inspiration, giving you information? Is that not divine help? Somebody said divine help. Imagine as you're seated here now, an enemy that you know, their own child is telling you what their mother or their father is planning. It is unheard of. Most family, when they are going to do things, they gang up together. It takes the grace of God to separate one or two. Jonathan is always giving David what I call expo. Do you think he was doing it by himself? Because God had a plan for David. And when God has a plan for you, because David was always seeking God, and so he had divine help, God will use every avenue to bring you your own release, your own freedom, your own information. Because when you know where the food is bad, will you go there and eat it? King Uzziah at a young age of 16, 
was able to rule because of divine help. Ask God continually, every day, Father, help me. Even when there is noise around you, spiritual noise, physical noise, emotional noise, noise of depression, noise of heartbreak. You've dated a man for three years, all of a sudden you are not good enough to be a wife. You've married a man long enough, all of a sudden, because you cannot speak English, you are no longer worthy to be first lady. Oh. That will not be anybody's portion in the name of Jesus. You can only achieve that with divine help. The angels of God speaking for you. The hand of God lifting you up above every trial, above every principalities, above every gossip, above every lie said about you, above every gang up. Walking in divine help will constantly grant you victory. Even when you don't know, you are sleeping. The angels of God are out there on your behalf, fighting, defeating. They will always come. My Bible says, gather shall they gather. But if their gathering be not of God, it shall be what? Micah 5 9 says, My hand shall continually be lifted up against my enemies. How can it be lifted up? Divine help. God. God Almighty. That's why we should worship Him, praise Him, give Him the honor that is due to Him. Not when they say, Praise God. You are strong. You are not pregnant because of worry. You are even to raise your hand, even to say hallelujah. Are we not fortunate that we are able to join the 24 elders in heaven who are saying hallelujah every day, every minute? Are you not fortunate to be able to join them? Who are we? But because of divine help, Jesus paying the price, gave us that right to be called the sons of God. God will help us. In Jesus' name. The last point for today. Never ever feel that you have arrived. I've said a little bit of that before. And because of time, I'm not going to read through the book of Esther. Esther 4, you can put it down from verses 11 down to 17. See, no matter your status in life, if you like have the best houses, have all the money in the world. Have all the connection. Be a political godfather or mother or be a governor. No matter your position. No matter your status in life. Never ever feel like you have arrived. And this is for my women. When we read about the story of Esther. I know yes she saved her people. But I want to talk from a different angle. Esther, I'm sure, was one of the most beautiful women of her time. Because when the king was going to get married, they gathered all the single girls. For them to have even chosen you to be part of it, you must have had some beautiful features that they regarded as beautiful. They brought all of them and they lined them up. And Esther was chosen amongst a lot of women. Because at that time she was chosen because of her beauty. Do we agree with me? But even when Esther got into the palace, she never ever felt I have arrived. Mordecai sent a message to her. He said, Esther, do not think that because you are in the palace you will be spared. The king has given a decree. We may all end up dead. Esther, do something. What did Esther do? She did not say, I'm beautiful. Let me go and meet my husband. There are some battles you'll be facing. You say, I'm beautiful. My husband cannot. I'm intelligent. I'm doing this. My husband cannot. Esther could have done that. But instead, Esther called all her maidens. Esther went into warfare. She understood what it meant to be a wife physically. Before they were lined up, Esther found favor with the onyx and they were able to bathe her in perfume. They did everything. Which means Esther understood makeup, beauty and hair and everything. But when it came time to the real deal, tell your neighbor the real deal. When it came time, when they were trouble in the marriage, when the children were not coming, 
When things are not working, are we going to take Esther's footsteps? Esther called all her maidens. Say, girls, there's trouble. Everyone, we must fast. We must pray and fast and intercede. And they did exactly as Esther said. And what happened at the end? Can, can I hear from us? What happened at the end? What, say it loudly. What happened? Victory. There are issues that is going on in your home right now that is not about English. <laughs> it's not about talking. It's not because you are beautiful. <laughs> the beautiful ones, they say, are not yet born. Yeah. It is not because you know things. You know things. There are certain things that you will solve on your knees. There are certain issues that you will not even confront. You solve them on your knees. Just like many of you here. And just like many of us watching me right now on Divine Hand Television. There are issues that must be attended to spiritually on behalf of your family. Take up the burden. Take up the issues. Go to your prayer altar. Place them on that altar before God and see if you will not get your divine answer. You will not get your divine help. Quarreling doesn't solve issues all the time. It is okay to argue. But there are some issues there. Eh? When it get as it be, you are no longer going to, we are no longer going to talk about it. None of us here will keep talking. You know where your talking will come? On your knees. Take the name of that thing that is a problem. Take it to God. Father, this is not what you told me. Oh. This is what is happening. Father, arrest it. Because at the end of the day, you'll be referred to as a troublesome woman. <laughs> as a woman that is fighting her husband. Without them knowing, it's not like you are mad. Is it not a mad person that will just see a man or a woman and just start fighting them? Answer me. We are quiet. It's a mad person. So if you see a man complaining about something, he's not mad. There's something that you're doing that is getting to him. And if a woman is complaining about something and she's fighting, there's something that that man is doing that is getting to her. Nobody is mad. Am I talking to us? We must take the footsteps of altar. Of Esther. Yes, you know how to dress. Yes, you are beautiful. <laughs> but do you want me to tell you the secret of acceleration? God Almighty. Divine help. Divine help. Divine provision. Divine restoration. Divine acceleration. Divine help. When people that didn't want to celebrate you, you know you can be forced to celebrate somebody. Am I talking to us? You can be forced to celebrate somebody. You can be forced, even if you're not clapping your heart, you know, say this person passed you. Am I talking to us, queens? Because of divine help. So enough of in-law issue, to the glory of God. Enough of fighting Enough for constantly fighting. Because what we don't understand as women, the more you fight him, the more the artificial lovers outside are gaining momentum. Yes, now. Because you have seen him every day, he has become normal to you. He is new to another person. My queens are not clapping. I'm just giving you people expo. You know how many women I talk to physically and on the phone every day? Do not make it easy for anyone to take your husband. Am I talking to us? You know some of us make it easy. The spirit of unforgiveness. The spirit of complaining. The Bible says a man would rather live outside than to stay at home with a woman. Make your home so comfortable. I say it tomorrow. There's nowhere prophet. If you like, go and stay in Burj Khalifa. We've stayed there before. It cannot be finer than his room. It's not possible. It's a deliberate effort too. You think I just like to talk about anything that is in my mind. Mama will just buy it and put. So when he's talking, I'm like, hey, you don't know. Hey, hey. There's the Holy Spirit telling me, 
do like this, do like this, do like this. No matter can never be finer than our home, than our room. And I'm not talking only about the things you put. What about your actions, the things you don't put, that you don't need to buy? You've been married for 30 years doesn't mean, 10 years doesn't mean. I'm not going to teach us what we need to do, but I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Do not make it easy. <laughs> God will grant you the strength. I know some women, mama, this man, if only you know this man. I can see your faces. There is no man that you take him to who created him will not arrange that his head. Eh? If your car is bad and you take it to the mechanic for servicing, won't it function better? Do you know who the mechanic is over that man? It is not you. <laughs> it is who? Take him for divine alignment. God will straighten that thing before you know you come home. You'll be wondering, is this the same man that left angry? You have not fought, you have not done anything, but you have taken him to the one who created him. And because you have divine connection with God, when you speak, he will hear you and he will answer you. Can we rise to our feet? If you are here and you haven't made Jesus the Lord over your life, the reason why we can say all we say, it still boils down to what I'm saying, divine help. You can't function in today, in this life, without connecting, you know, connecting with the God who made you. How can a plane function without the control tower, without the internal control mechanism? How can you function outside of the God that created you? Ask yourself, how does it even work? Just place your hand on your heart. I would like to pray with you. If you haven't made Jesus the Lord over your life, and even if you have, and you just want a new connection with him, place your hand over your heart. I'll pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we have come to you, Lord. Guide us, keep us. From today, we accept you as our Lord and Savior. From today, Father, Lord, take over everything that concerns us. We yield our spirit, our soul, and our body to you. From today, we make you the Lord over our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. And I would like to pray one prayer before I leave. Raise your hands to heaven. My Father, my Father, fill my heart, my life with your fire. Pray that prayer. Pray it. Father, fill my heart. Fill my life. Let my life be as beautiful in, inside and inward. The way I am beautiful outside. It's not enough to be beautiful outside. Wear the nice clothes. Wear everything. But the most important part, the devil is allowing you to neglect it. I've heard many people being delivered here and the spirit in them is saying, I stop their prayer life. I stop their prayer life because a praying believer is a winning believer. Activate your prayer life. Pray, 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 pray that prayer. Feel me, Lord, to lie overflow. Feel me, Lord, to lie overflow. Feel my spirit till I the flow. Praise the Lord, Queens. Uh -uh. With all this, praise the Lord. Please. Help me to celebrate Papa and Mama. Yes. 
for giving me this wonderful opportunity to stand upon this altar of liberation once again. Yes. And if you are excited in the house today for today's convention, you can do better. Praise the Lord. It's time for Titan offering. First of all, do we have Titus in the house? Titus, please come forward. Titus, please. Wherever you are in the overflows, please come forward to the main auditorium. Yes, as you are standing here, you know the command God gave concerning tithes. And you are standing here with your tithe this morning, this afternoon. Speak to it. Tell God what you want that tithe to do for you. Raise it up. Speak to it. Tell God to rebuke the devourer for your sake, even as you bring this tithe to his house. In Jesus' name we pray. And so, Father in heaven, we ask, O oh God, for your children that have stand here and they brought their tithes to your house. Father, whatever is a problem, we ask that you rebuke the devourer for their sakes in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we send this tithe on an errand. Do what no man can do concerning them in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Put it and touch the altar. Now is offering time. And he said that offering time is what? I can't hear you. Offering time is what? Shall we be on our feet and take our offering and give our offering? Package a befitting offering to the Lord. Raise it up. Speak to that offering. Speak to your offering. Send it on Aaron. Tell God what you want this offering for do for you. Is it the issue of health? Is it wealth? We are here in this house. This house of liberation. There is nothing that God cannot do here. So send your, Aaron, your, send your, your offering on Aaron. In Jesus' name we pray. And if you are watching us on TV, the account is being displayed on the screen. You can also send your, give your offering, send it to those account numbers on the screen, both with your tithe, and the Lord bless you in Jesus' name as you do so. Now, you are going to put your offering.
just lift up your hands because the hour that you have been waiting for has come so lift up your hands as you begin to worship him open up your mouth as you worship him give him all the praise for what he's about to do as the father will come up for the great and mighty things that you have done. Somebody lift up those hands higher. Narakele. Father, we worship. Narakele. We give you praise, you are. Jineke. Idema. Let's Narakele. Lift up your hands, everybody. Just wave it to him. Wave it to him as well. For the great, the great and mighty things that he's about to do. We worship you, Jesus. There is no one like him. There is no one like you. And I ask the Lord, what name feeds you? Can somebody help me say, and he says, and he says, and he says, and he says, and he and I ask the Lord, come on, somebody, what name fit you? Can he say, give the Lord a shout of open door. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Learn to celebrate God and learn to celebrate yourself. Why not turn and celebrate yourself? Celebrate yourself, yourself. I mean yourself. Listen. Don't ever see anybody that is better than you. Don't ever see anybody that is better than you. I see some people, I say they should celebrate yourself. They are busy looking at their neighbor. I mean yourself. Celebrate yourself in this service. Celebrate yourself. Look at yourself from health to... Look at yourself. Look at yourself. Look how beautiful you are. Look, look at yourself. Makalabo. Ayabababababa. Celebrate yourself again. Celebrate yourself again. Celebrate yourself again. Say, I'm in charge of my home. Can I see women that want to be in charge of their home here this evening? It's like some of you are not sad. Do you want to be in charge of your home? Can I hear your voice? Can I hear your voice? From this day, you, that you are here, under the sound of my voice, you will live here to be in charge of your home. What you decide, that is what will happen in your home. Not what others decide, what you decide. Give the Lord a big hand. Give him a big, 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 big hand. 
What a great service. What a great service. What a great service. What a great service. Powerful service. Powerful service. From the music, from the choir, to the women dancing, to everybody. It was great, powerful. Why not celebrate yourself in this building? Amen. Can we just celebrate the men that they are here with us? Can we just celebrate them? We celebrate our father, Apostle Ome, and mommy, they are here. Amen. They are always here anytime there is a women's program to support, their, to support their daughter, mama. Amen. Celebrate them. And celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself again. Celebrate yourself again. Say, I refuse to be sad. Say, I refuse to be sad. I will not be sad. In one minute, just have your seat. Amen. 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 Can we just celebrate my beloved brother? My covenant brother. When you say someone is your covenant brother, there is a mystery. Celebrate my covenant brother. Celebrate him. A man of love. A man of love. A man that loved God. A man that loved what God created. Why not celebrate him? Celebrate him, celebrate him, celebrate him. Apostle David Yolo, celebrate him. Amen. Apostle, Africa need your anointing. And Africa love you so much. I think from now I will give you an African name. Amen. I will give you a mallet a second. Give the Lord a big, big, big hand. Amen. You know Jesus is an Igala man. Eh? Do you know Jesus is an Igala man? We have Igala people in the house. Why not stand and celebrate that Jesus is an Igala man? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> we have Igbo people here. Jesus is an Igbo man. Why not, if you are an Igbo, why not stand and celebrate that Jesus is an Igbo man? We have Yoba here. Yoba stand and say, Jesus is a Yoba man. Houses do the same thing. All the language do the same thing and celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Amen. Apostle, just two seconds. Apostle is going out. He have a preaching engagement in Madala. Who know Mandala? Madala. Eh? I'm coming there on Sunday. That is tomorrow. Amen. It's going to be fire to fire. It's going to be what? Fire to fire. Amen. And Apostle is going there to, to lay the foundation today. Amen. In the next few minutes, you'll be on his way to Mandala. Give the Lord a big hand. Apostle, just one minute. Come and say something. Speak a word for just two seconds. Why not stand as we celebrate the ministry of Apostle David Yola from America? Celebrate him. What? What you celebrate, you have more of it. Jam your hand. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Wow, I give all the glory to God and uh, the prophet of liberation. Uh, the first lady, I can't tell you, I, I've been touched by God in this conference. I, these are not tears of sadness. These are tears of gladness, of joy in the presence of the Lord. And I just want to thank God to be here. And the first lady, I can't tell you the, what, what the ministry here, the power of the Holy Spirit resting upon you the grace and I give God all the glory give God all the glory for all the women the women of God here today celebrate you I celebrate you in the name of Jesus 
I want to say one word, one scripture that's coming to me. It was the woman with the issue of blood. She had an issue of blood for 12 years. But one touch, she pressed through the crowd. She pressed through all the people to get one touch from Jesus. She touched the mantle. She touched the prayer shawl. And her blood dried up. I speak that to you today. Every woman who has an issue that you've been had the issue that today it dries up in the name of Jesus. That Jesus touch you today in the name of Jesus. Be healed now. Celebrate the fire. Celebrate the fire. Celebrate the, the apostle. Amen. Can we celebrate the first lady of the house? Can we just celebrate the first lady of the, of the house? Celebrate her. Celebrate our first lady. Amen. Celebrate the great woman of God. Mama, we love you. We believe in you. Great. Celebrate her. Celebrate her. Celebrate her. Celebrate her. Amen. Sit down for just two seconds. Amen. God is about to change your foundation. When God wants to change foundation, God sent a man. And when God sent a man, he sent a woman. A woman built foundation. I see today, you are here because you want to build your home. You want to build your home. Any, any man that doesn't work with the wife, the man cannot succeed. Before a man succeed, he has to work with God. After working with God, work with the wife. Amen. Give the Lord a shout. Do you know something? It's not easy for two people to live together. You need the grace of God. When you have the grace of God, it makes you and your husband to become brothers and sisters. And any home that there is division, success cannot penetrate. Success like a home that have unity. When there is no unity in your home, when there is crisis, there is violence, that home cannot be blessed. Before a home can be blessed, there should be unity, there should be love, there should be sincerity. Amen. And again, you have to learn to forgive. 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 And again, women, I'm here to talk to you for just a few minutes before I give you the parcel from heaven. Amen. If you are ready to have the parcel, can, can you jam your hand? There is a lot, a lot, a lot of puzzles from heaven for you. Puzzles that will change your life. Some of you will live here today, you will know that you are blessed. You will know that your day has been fulfilled. You will know that your coming here this afternoon is not in vain. Give the Lord a shout of fire. Give him a shout of fire. <laughs> Women, men go through a lot. Men go through a lot. Men go through a lot. And that is why people keep on saying that men die early than women. Men go through a lot. You know, at times a man can be going through a lot of knockdown in life, but he won't be able to share with his wife. Because there is this pride. There is this self-pride that God has given to a man. That is why a man is, is the head. There is this self-pride. Self-pride. You know, a man doesn't have money in his pocket. But you, you will still pretend to the wife there is money. And you will see his face is tight. When you want him to smile, he will not smile to you. When you, when you need a hug, he will not give you a hug. Because it's mine, it's mine. What do you do? 
when you see your when you see your man looking sad you talk to him say say my honey pie my angel all is well i've seen your future when you when you tell your husband i've seen the future the future is better i celebrate the genera amen you know you know genera they don't pretend army they don't pretend they go diet so i i like the the, the way you address that matter. Amen. The Lord bless you. I see the oil coming upon you. Amen. Give the Lord a shout. You know, when you see your man being sad, it's not that he hates you. He's going through a lot. And try to understand your man. Try to understand his weak point. When you know his weak point, you have conquered all those things. Amen. When, when he's not talking to you, when he tight his face, it's not that he doesn't love you. He loves you. But he's going through some issues. And again, women, don't ever insult your husband. What men want so much is respect. Respect your husband. When your husband say, don't go to this place, don't disobey him and go to that place. And don't be friends to your husband's enemies. I've seen some women being friends to their husband's enemies. When your husband says, don't do this, don't do it. And again, don't stretch your husband. I see some, I see some women, they push their husband. Always allow your husband to wear a shoe that is his size. Amen. You see... The shoe that I'm wearing now, it can be ugly. But because it's my size, people will say the shoe is fine. But when the shoe is no longer my size, people will say this shoe is not fine. Always guide your husband. When your husband wants to do something that is bigger than him, say, mm -mm, mm -mm, let us do this one first. Let us do this one first. Your husband has not bought a land in the village. He has not built a house. Your husband just got 30 million. 30. Now you are planning to travel to abroad with the whole family to buy a ticket. To buy a ticket. To go and do this. Tell him, no, honey, there is time for everything. Let us try to buy a portion of land. Anywhere at all. Land is land. Land you buy for 200,000. In a few months, you can sell it for 300000 Help your husband to plan. Let me tell you something. Men doesn't plan. But women plan for them. Let me tell you. With all sincerity, men doesn't plan. They talk. They talk. But their wife planned for them. Their wife brought their talk to reality. Give the Lord a shout. And that's why the Bible says, their wife is their helper. You are the helper to your husband. You support him to stand. Help your husband to plan. When he gets money, don't, don't help him to spend the money. Help him to establish the money and to, to double the money. Amen. And again, mommy says something about her husband. When God has used you to, to help a man to stand... And the man say you are nobody anymore. What do you do? You pray. And the man must come back. That thing that happened to your husband is not his fault. They have removed his sense. The sense of your devil is in trouble. Listen. You know, when we are about to deal with the devil... That will do a lot of things. Like you can see, that deliverance of that young man. Is it for my door? A man that was tied. That man that walked in, in one of the hotels. Those demons, they had to fight back to, to, uh, to destroy some of our equipment. You can see those equipment. But they can't seize my voice. <laughs> they can't seize my voice. They can't seize my voice. When you are dealing with forces, 
It's not easy to deal with forces. It's not easy to deal with the forces that have conquered a family for over 100 years. It's not easy. It's not easy for a lady that have been caged, that this lady you will never get married. It's not easy for you to free that lady. Those demons will not be happy. Those demons will not be happy. I want you to live here today. Love your husband. Help your husband to plan. And again, mommy, when you have a husband that you have helped so much, build together, or you put, contribute money to buy a car, and it's only him that is driving the car. <laughs> Instead of him to drive the car two days, one day he will give you to use the car, only him is driving the car. Don't fight him. What do you do? You go on your knee, you pray. What happened to your husband? Your husband loves you. He still loves you. The sense of your husband was removed. When a sense of your husband is being removed, what do you do? You can't fix it by fighting. You can't fix it by going to tell the village people. The village people will increase it. What do you do? You go to the altar of God and fix it. You can fix the brain by praying. And today, I can assure you, the brain of your husband will be fixed. I don't know what the enemy have destroyed in your life, what they have taken away from your life. Today, I'm here to give it back to you. 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 Say, yes, I'm here. Check someone, say, I'm here. 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 Give the Lord a shout of fire. Give him a shout of fire. Is it hard to shout? Stand and give the Lord a shout of fire. Give him a shout of fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. What the enemy have canceled from your life, you are having it back today. Say, so I don't know when. Say, so I don't know when that they hide my growing, that they hide my joy. Today, what I know, I will have it back today. I will have it back today. Turn on your say, I have it back. Listen, some of you under the sound of my voice supposed to be an international woman, but they cage you. Some of you under the sound of my voice supposed to be doing well, you are not doing well. Some of you under the sound of my voice, you're supposed to get married, but yet you are not yet married because there's a cause. Because of what? There was, there's a cause. Every cause over your head, every cause over your head, every cause over your head shall be removed, shall be removed, shall be removed. Every cause from your four forefathers. Listen, there is cause. Where you come out from a family that they, they, there is a cause. Listen. Listen. Sit down for just two seconds. You have to be... At times, you sit down, you think. Some people don't think. Where you don't think, you can't get the solution. Where you think, it makes you to discover that you have problem. There's some people, they have problem, they don't know they have problem. You come out from a family. Six boys. They are graduate. None of them is doing well. None of them. It's a cause. You came out from a family. Very great family. None of them can help each other. It's a cause. It's witchcraft. You came out from a family, sister divorce, another one divorce, another one divorce. It's a cause. It's a cause. And again, 
When that cause is there, if it's not being treated, if it's not being treated, it, it will continue to their grand, grand, grandchildren. I've seen a family before God used me to deliver them from their grandfather divorce. Divorce, 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 divorce. And this young man managed to get married and he was about to divorce the wife. And he came, he was privileged to be in that service. The power of God hit him up and the demons started talking. The demons started talking and the young man was delivered. And after the deliverance, he listened to the deliverance. His eyes opened. He went back home, kneeling down, begging the wife. Say, Madam, I'm sorry. Today, they are together. Today, they are together. There is cause. There is cause. God, God doesn't destroy people. But there is a, there is a demon, there is a man that destroys people. That is Satan. That is Satan. Some of you, your best the enemy will go and see your best. When they see your best, they take it. And when they take it, they swallow it. And when they swallow the best, how do you get it back? You have to get it back by a prophetic hand. And now the prophetic hand is available. You have come to the God of Omale, and the God of Omale is seeing you. And again, I say, if, yes, I, I, I say that if you are believing God for fruit of womb, you should come. If you are believing God for babies, you should come. If you are believing God for a baby for somebody, you can come. And you are all here. I say if you are believing God to get married, you should be here. Or if you are believing God to get married for, or on behalf of somebody, you can come. Listen. You have seen it here. Every woman created by God is created with a womb. But devil can take that womb. When they tie your womb, baby cannot enter. There is a man that came to me. This man is a medical doctor. He have an hospital that do IVF. He have an hospital that do IVF. He have been doing IVF for several years. And he have been married for over 17 years. No child. He have done it for the wife. His colleagues have done it for the wife, but all failed. Before you know, the wife abused him. The family members came of the wife. They took the wife away. And they admired the wife. And the wife took him for the other man. And he now waited for three years. He went and got married. He went and got married. Did I veer for that one again? For five times, nothing happened until they met me. Mama know the lady. Know the family. As they met me, I speak a word. Without IVF, the woman conceived. Without IVF, the woman conceived. As the woman conceived, before you know again, the woman conceived. Today they are having three keys. That is the power of God. And the power of God is here to do and undo for you. To do and undo for you. Any womb that have been tied will be free today. Any womb that have been tied will be free today. Young lady, you that you are believing God for, for my ages, your door will be open today. All your sins in the past will be forgiven. All your sins in the past will be forgiven. And everything that you have done to you, that you should not get my age, shall be removed. Shall be removed. Shall be removed. Shall be removed. And any forces watching over you, how you will make it, how you will get married, those forces will be destroyed today. Those forces will be destroyed today. Why not stand on your feet? Stand on your feet. And now, no more movement. Maintain your seat. And the archers, position yourself. The cameramen, the protocol, position yourself. And angels, Go and do your work. Now position yourself anywhere you are. Something great. Something that will change you completely. That will give you a new look. A new face. It's about to rub on you. And that is the power of God. Just watch it song. 
faithful God, oh faithful God, faithful God, oh faithful God, only you deserve the glory. Only you deserve the glory, oh faithful God, faithful God, faithful God. Let that thing cry out now. That thing that become a problem in your life. That thing that become a problem in your life. Let that thing manifest and leave you now. Let them leave you now. Let them leave you now. Let bias leave you now. Let delay in progress leave you now. Let them leave you now. Let them leave you now. Your star that was exchanged. Your wisdom that was exchanged. Your destiny that was exchanged. Your health that was exchanged. Your money that was exchanged. I change it to you now. Let it come back to you now. One, two, three. Anywhere you are, may it come back to you now. You see me now. 
Receivez now. Receivez now. Receivez now. Receivez now. Receivez now. Receivez now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Anywhere you are, overflow. Fall. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Where they bury your destiny. Where they bury you as a person. Today I bring you out. 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 Every forces. Forces from the father's house. Forces from the in-laws. Forces from everywhere. Fighting you. Fighting your destiny. Fighting your glory. Today I lose you now. 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 Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free from your foundation. From your foundation. You are in the city, but they invoke your destiny back to the village. Back to the village. You are struggling. You are struggling. That spirit of struggling. That spirit of struggling. Manifest that come out now. Begin to cry out. 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 Oh, you queen of the coast. Oh, you mama spirit. Oh, you mama spirit. That stop your growth. Let them manifest and come out now. Begin to live. Begin to live. Begin to live. Begin to live. Begin to live now. Begin to live now. By fire, by fire, by fire. Receive your healing now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. You save your deliverance. You save your deliverance. You save your deliverance. Every monitor is paid. Every monitor is paid. They monitor you in the morning. They monitor you in the day. Anywhere they are, what they are using to monitor you, let us cry out now. Yes, yes, it's happening. Makalabo sheke bahaya, lekele boko subahaya badahaya, yele magada bo sheke labahaya. Ramarabadabadobisahaya. What they are using to monitor you? I don't poverty. I don't know my age. I don't know progress. Let that thing manifest and leave you now. Begin to leave. 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 Begin to leave now. I said leave. 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 The chain they used to chain your two legs. That you will not cross to the other side of joy. I declare it cut off. Be 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 cut off. Let that sickness come out. Let it 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 come out now. Yes, begin to come out. 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 Begin to manifest that come out now. Begin to leave. 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 I say begin to leave now. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Begin to leave right now. Right now. That sickness. That that sickness that they have planted in your body. That sickness that they have planted in your body. That sickness that they have planted in your body. Let that sickness come out now. Vomit it out. Vomit it out. Let it leave. Let it leave. 
Let it live. 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 Come on, let it live now. Let you, yes, 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 yes. Begin to come out. 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 Begin to come out with a shout. With a shout. With a shout. Begin to live. Begin to live. Begin to live. Begin to live now. 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 Lord. Now. Lord on your head. Now. Lord on your head. Now. Lord on your head. We pull it out. 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 Anywhere you are, let the power of God touch you now. Touch you now. You receive the touch of God. You receive the touch of God. You receive it now. You receive it now. You receive your deliverance. You receive your healing. You receive your deliverance. You receive your deliverance. Anywhere you are, one, two, three, take it down. Take it down. Let the anointing flow. Let the anointing flow. The anointing is coming upon you now. Usher, go inside the crowd. Yes, 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 yes. You see me now. You see me now. You see me now. Your glory is coming back to you. Your star is coming back to you. Your joy is coming back to you. It's coming back to you. It's coming back to you. It's coming back to you. You see me now. 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 You see me your miracle. Receive your miracle. I see that door being opened. I see that door being opened. I heard the Lord saying, You shall be the channel that God will use to bless your husband, to prosper your husband. You will be the channel. You will be the channel. How can you become the channel? Is when you have the anointing. The anointing is coming upon you now that you shall be the channel of blessing to your husband. You receive that anointing. You see me now, just watch him song. My Abarabosh. How long more must I am must How long more must I am must How long more must I am must see? Jesus, so you marry. How long more must I am must Check it hard with you. Check it hard with you. Yaya Barabagadaya. 
I hear God saying, your prayer has been answered. Your door is open. Your door is open. You shall do well. You shall do well. You shall do well. The gift that God has given you, that gift shall manifest. It shall manifest. It shall manifest. The Lord told me to tell you, you will shine. You shall be the shining light. You shall be the shining light. You are the shining light. You are the shining light. You will shine brighter and brighter. Brighter and brighter. Brighter, 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 brighter. Oh, you terminal sickness. Oh, you terminal sickness. Vomit it out now. Oh, you pain in the lungs. Disappeared. 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 You have been living with this disease for several years. The healing have come. The deliverance have come. Your deliverance have come. Your healing have come. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Any forces of darkness from your foundation, from your family, when you were against you, today I free you now. I free you now. Be free from the hands of stepmothers. Be free from the hands of idol. Be free. Be free. Be free. Shout, I am free. Shout, I am free. I am free. I am free. Shout, I am free. Shout, I am free. Shout, I am free. Shout, I am free. Be free. Be free. Be free. As you are shouting it, everything that is not of God in your body will be coming out. Everything that has been troubling you will be coming out now. Shout, I'm free. I'm free. Yes, 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 yes. Be free. 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 I shall be free. 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 I shall be free. 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 Let your family be free. Let your home be free. Be free right now. Come on, be free. Come on, be free. 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 Watch him song. My love. Stars. What do you to that stars? What do you to that stars? 
What do you do that star? What do you do that star? What do you do that star? Huh? What do you do the star that God has given her? The star that God has given her. What do you do that star? 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 What do you do to that star? In the, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I order you to you turn it. 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 With speed. You turn it with speed. With speed. With speed. You turn it. You turn it. And now go to the pit of hell. And not to come back anymore. Just watch him song. Your name is Your name is all you witchcraft, take off your arm of this Take off your arm of this woman. Take off your arm of this woman. Your name is Oh, you see my what are you doing in this body? Yeah, what are you doing? Yes. Yeah, what are you doing in this body? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing in this body? Yeah, what are you doing in this body? You have been in this body causing our destruction. Yes. In the name of Jesus, begin to come out. Yes, 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 begin to come out. Yes, begin to come out. Yes, yes, begin to come out. Begin to come out. Begin to come out. Yes, yes, begin to come out. Begin to come out. Begin to come out. Yes, 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 begin to come out. You have been in this body. Cosina pains. Cosina pains. Oh, you demon. Yeah, what are you doing in this body? What are you doing in this body? You have been in this body. What and what you have destroyed in our life? What and what? What and what? What and what? Speak out. Speak out. What and what you have destroyed in our destiny? What and what? What and what? What and what? What and what you have destroyed in our destiny? What and what you have destroyed in our destiny? What and what? What and what? What and what? Eh? What and what you have destroyed in this destiny? What you have destroyed, we declare you pray right now. And now take off your hand. Take off your hand. Take off your hand. Just stand on your feet. Just watch him song. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. You turn it. You turn it. You turn it. You turn it. When they are free, you hold up. Take off your hands. 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 Yes. The divine hand of God is here this morning. The divine hand of God is here to heal someone. Hey. Who are you? The God of Amala is here. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, you demon, who are you? What and what you have destroyed in this body? You have been in this body for several years. What and what you have destroyed in our life? What and what you have destroyed in our life? What and what? 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 You have been causing her pain. Which pain you have caused for her? Now I order you what you have taken, you turn it back to her. You turn it. You turn it. You turn it. Stand on your feet and say you turn. Stand on your feet and say you turn. Stand on your feet and say you turn. 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 Stand on your feet and say you turn. You turn it now. Yes, yes, come on, you turn it. 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 Just watch him song. Makalabos. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I pray you now. Yes, come on. Oh, yeah. Come. So give. Oh, yeah. Come and watch. Oh, yeah. Come. Jesus, your man. Oh, 
Jesu ta lo da bi re o alagbara ta lo da bi re olorun mi ta lo da bi re o alagbara oba to gbe o who are you who are you what are you doing in this body huh what are you doing in this body what are you doing in this body huh oh you demon what are you doing in this body I should leave you. What and what, what and what you have destroyed in life? What and what you have destroyed in our destiny? What and what? What and what? What and what? what, and what? Yes, yes, begin to come out. Yes, yes. All you demon, you have been in this body for years, and today you are coming out. Yes, yes, yes. Huh? Who are you? 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 In the name of Jesus, begin to manifest and come out. Yes, 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 begin to leave. Yes, 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 begin to leave. Let somebody shout fire. Let somebody shout fire. Let somebody shout Holy Ghost. Yes, yeah, make some space. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you demon, what are you doing in this body? What are you doing in this body? In the name of Jesus, begin to leave. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Let the church have fire. Let the church have fire. Yes, yes, come out. Yes, come out. Yes, huh? Come out. I say, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Oh, you demon. Oh, you demon. What do you do to our destiny? Speak out. What do you do to our destiny? Don't speak your language. Speak English. Oh, you demon. What do you do to our destiny? What do you do to our destiny? The destiny that God has given her. What do you do to that destiny? 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 The destiny of their family. What do you do to that destiny? What do you do 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 to that destiny? What do you do that destiny? What do you do to the destiny of their family? What do you do to the destiny of their family? What do you do to the destiny of their family? In the name of Jesus. What do you do to the destiny of their family? Yes, let somebody shout Holy Ghost. Let somebody shout Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 come out. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, begin to leave. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Just watch him song. The bright and morning stars, the God of Amala is here today. The God of Deborah is here today. The God that gives the barrenness room. The God that made the blind to see is here today. Your power flow, let your power, let your anointing come back. Yeah. Oh, you 
several years all you demon take off your hand all you demon what do you do to this woman what do you do to our stars what do you do to the star that God has given her speak out what do you do to that star what do you do to that star what do you do to that star what do you do to the star that God has given her what do you do to the star that God has given her speak loud Huh? She's barren. She's barren. She's barren. Speak loud. She's barren. 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 What do you do to her? She's barren. Why do you cause her to be barren? She's barren. She's barren. 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 She's barren. 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 She's barren. 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 You make her to be barren. 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 Barren, 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 barren. She is barren, 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 barren. She is barren. She is barren, barren, barren. What do you do to our womb? Why, why do you make her to be barren? Barren. Why do you do that to her? Barren. She is barren. She is barren. Why do you do that to her? She is barren. She is barren. Why do you do that to her? She is barren. She is barren. She's barren. Oh, you She's demon. Barren. Why do you do that to her? She's barren. She's barren. She's barren. <laughs> Why do you do that to her? Why do you do that to her? Why do you do that to her? <laughs> oh, you want that to be. You want that to be happy. Ah, it can happen. She's barren. 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 She will never be happy. Barren. Barren. Barren, barren. You will not be happy. Why you don't want her to be happy? 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 Let me go. Huh? Let me go. I'm going to cast you. You are going to go. You don't have any choice. Why you don't want her to be happy? Barren, barren, barren. Why you don't want her to be happy? Barren, barren, barren. Why you don't want her to be happy? Barren, 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 barren. She's barren, barren. She's barren. Who are you? Who are you that make her to be fire? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Speak loud. Who are you? I will not say anything. I will not say anything. She's barren. She's just barren, 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 barren. She's just barren, barren. Barren, 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 barren. She's barren, barren us. She's barren, barren. You give up by it. Barren, 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 barren. Yes, she's barren. Who are you? 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 I'm not saying any other thing. Huh? I can't say any other thing. You will not say any other thing. She's barren. I want to go. She's barren, 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 barren. She's barren. You don't want her to have children. Yes, yes, yes. yes you don't yes, want yes, her to have children. Yes, 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 yes. Huh? Yes, 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 yes. Why you yes, don't want her to have yes, children? Yes, yes, yes. She's married for over twelve years. No child. Barren, barren, barren. Yeah. Why you? Why you don't want her to have children? Why? Oh, you want her to be happy. Did you want her to be happy? Ah, it can happen. No, it can happen. Hey, hey, hey. I said no. Yeah. You said no. <laughs> why you don't want her to be happy? She's barren. Barren. Why? Why you don't want her to be happy? When I speak to you, you speak back. Why you don't want her to be happy? That's why she doesn't have children. 
You don't want her to be happy? Yes, yes, yes. That is why you don't want her to have children. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. For 12 years. Yes, 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 yes. You delay her of not having children. She's worried. Barin! Barin! Who are you? Who are you? I don't have a name. Barin! You don't have a name. Yes, Barin! Barin! You don't have a name. You don't have a name. Yes. Huh? Have a name. Who give out to you? Who give out to you? Have a name. Who give out to you? I don't have a name. I just decided to afflict her. She's barren. You just decided to afflict her. Yes. You she just decided. She will not be happy. She will never be happy in her marriage. Yeah. She will yeah. not be happy. Yes, 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 yes. She's barren. 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 Hey, barren. How do you monitor her every month? How do you monitor her every month? Through so many means. Huh? So many means. So, so many means. So many means. Yes. Can you say it? Yes. Which yes. means? Are we, which? Yes. 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 Which? I have my monitoring mirror. My monitoring mirror. My monitoring mirror. She's not happy. She's not happy. Don't mind how she's trying to cover up. No joy. She does not have the internal joy. When she sees children, she'll be admiring her. No one in her home. She's crying. You are the cause. Crying. Crying. As you crying. monitor her with your meal, what will happen? As you continue to monitor her with that meal, what will happen? She does not have children. She will not have children. Yes. And what do you do no to their children. finances? No children. What do you do to their no finances? No children. The husband doesn't have a job, but she's doing well. They have business. Business is doing well. But the husband, for years, no job, no job, no, no job, no job. Why you don't no want the job. husband to have a no job? job. I'm not the cause. Uh, Who is the cause? I don't know. Me, Who is I the cause? Know, I don't know. You, Jesus. which one you cause? Uh, uh, which one you cause? Uh, which one you cause? The barrenness. You cause the barrenness. Yeah, yeah, you cause yeah, the barrenness. You cause the barrenness. Now, how do you do the womb? What do you do to the womb? Show me what you do to the womb. Show me what you do to the womb. Nothing is wrong with how. But I just decided to close the womb. You I close it. To close you close womb. it like this. I close the womb. As you close I it, what will happen? The womb. No child. No child. In this marriage, there shall be no children. Ah, she has even come to your office before. No children. You say in this marriage, yes. there will be child. Yeah. That is what you have said. Yeah. But today, yeah. what do you use to cover yeah. the womb? What do you use to cover the womb? Yeah. What do you use to cover the Just womb? Something like iron, huh? a big iron. Something like an iron. A big iron. A big iron. Yes. You use a big iron. You use a big iron to cover it. You can see what they do to women. This woman has been married for over 12 years. No child. Devil is the cause. Who know her? Kabo Shike Bahaya. If you know her, you come out here. Yes. Daddy, are you happy? Daddy, are you happy? I'm happy. How happy are you? Very happy. She has been married for a good 12 years. She's my wife. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is married your wife. for 12 years. 12 years. Yes. Daddy, I'm going to cast the demon out. Yes. You see now, the devil say they use iron yes. to cover. It's like when you, put, when you put paper, you put iron on top. Can the paper survive? But today it will be removed. Amen. Just watch it song. Calabosh. Arise, O God. Malabosh. Let your enemy be scattered. Arise, O God. Let your enemy be just, just look at the screen as I'm going to tell the demon to remove the the iron. Now you say you put the iron, huh? Yes. 
You say you put the iron. Show me how you put the iron. You see. And you put that iron there for how many years? 12 years. 12 years. You put that iron for 12 good years. Huh? Yes. Who are you that put that iron? Who are you? No name. Huh? No name. No name. No name. No name. No name. I decided to afflict her. No name. You decided to afflict her. Yes. You decided. Yes. Where where do you see her? That you you afflict her where? Yes. Is he on the road? Yes. Where do you see her? Yes. Where do you see her? Where do you see her? Yes. Where do you see her that you are yes. free her? In her husband's house. Huh? In her husband's house. In her husband's house. In her husband's in house. In her husband's house. In her husband's house. In her husband's house. Is it immediately yes. after the marriage? Yes, 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 yes. Immediately after yes, the marriage. Yes, 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 yes. How many days after yes, the marriage? Yes, 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 yes. How many days after yes, the marriage? Yes, 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 yes. Immediately she got married. Yes, 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 yes. Immediately. Yes, 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 yes. Immediately. Yes, yes. Now listen yes, to yes, me. Yes. It's a command. You move that iron. You move it. You move it. You move it. One. You move it. You move it. Stand on your feet, everybody. Now, archers, position yourself behind people. As I'm going to order this demon to remove this iron, anything that they have used to cover you, to put on top of you, so that nobody will see you, is going to be removed right now. One. Two, three, you move it. You move it. You move it. Yes, you move. Yes, you move. Yes, you move. You move it. You move it. You move it. You move it. Yes, 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 yes. You move it. You move it. You move it. Yes, yes, yes. Begin to remove it. You move it now. You move it. Yes, yes. You move all. You move all. You move all. All, 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 all. Second guy, last guy in all the overflow. Be him moving in the name of Jesus. Pay him all. 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 Pay him be you move in the name of Jesus. Yes, come on, be you move. Yes, come on, be you move. Be you move. Be you move. Be you move. Yes, 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 yes. Be you move. 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 Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free. 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 Just watch him song. Makala bush. Yes, 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 yes. It's your season. It's your season. Yes, yes, yes. It's your season. It's your season. Shame is gone. Disappointment is over. You will shine. 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 You will succeed. You will succeed. You will succeed. You will succeed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Yes, 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 yes. What you have lost, I give it back to you. What you have lost, the joy, the peace, I give it back to you. I give it back to you. I give it back to you. Yes, 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 yes. I give it back to you. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. It's your season. Go and get my Go and succeed. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Yes. 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 Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Yes, take off your hand of this woman. Yes. 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 We position the baby. Makalabosh. Oh, you are blessed in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Peace of mind. 
So, 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 Womb, I say, receive your baby. Receive your baby. Be healed. 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 In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Cancer is gone. Tumor is gone. You are not dying. You are not dying. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed, be saved, be saved, be blessed. Every confusion in your life is over. It's over. It's over. Let the brain grow. Let it grow. Let it grow. Be blessed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. May you shine. May you succeed. Succeed in the name of Jesus. Yes, come on. Yes, yes, come on. Every confusion. Yes, yes, every spirit of confusion. Follow this woman for several years. Take off your hand in the name of Jesus. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Yes, come on. Take it now. Yes, come on. Every confusion around your pregnancy. Yes. Yes, come on. Yes, come on. Every confusion. Every confusion. Yes. Every confusion. Yes. Every confusion. Yes, just watch it song. Every confusion. We take it out in the name of Jesus. Mighty yes, man of Lion of Judah. We bow down and worship you. Yahweh. 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 Come and do God. Come and do scream out. Begin to scream out and leave this young lady. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Yes. Yes. Begin to leave. Begin to leave in the name of Jesus. Begin to leave with a shout. Yes. Come on. Go now. Go. 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 Let somebody shout fire. Yes. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. 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 I see all the young ladies here. I see doors of my age being opened. I see doors of my age being opened. I see favor. 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 I see favor for you. May you shine. May you succeed. I say may you succeed. I say may you succeed. 
I say, may you succeed. I say, may you succeed. In the name of Jesus, wave your hands. Wave your hands. Just watch him song. Makala bara belongs to you. In heaven and the All the power belongs to you. 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 I prophesy belongs. over you. I prophesy over you. No more disappointment. May you begin to grow. Yes, yes. Come on, take it now. Yes. Every shame. The pie blood is gone. The shame is over. In the name of Jesus. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Yes, come on. Yes. Yes. Leave this young lady. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, take it down in the name of Jesus. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Yes. Every spirit of disappointment. Every spirit of disappointment. Take off your hand. Yes, yes, madam, take it down. Take it down. Yes, 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 yes. Where they die you, I lose you. Where they stop you all this year. From this day, I declare you unstoppable. I declare you unstoppable. I declare you unstoppable. You are blessed. You are blessed. May you shine. May you succeed. Succeed in the name of Jesus. 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 Yes, come on, be, be blessed. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Yes, take your joy. Take your peace. Take your happiness. Begin to shine. Begin to succeed. Mama, you are free from trouble, from shame, from disgrace. May you succeed. Yes, may you succeed in the name of Jesus. It's well with the baby. The baby is healed. The baby is healed. No more sickness, no yes, more disease, no more challenges. You are blessed. You are blessed. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Makaro Shahai. Yes. Every spirit of delay. Delay in going forward. Delay in going forward. Take off your hand. Take off your hand and begin to move forward. Move forward. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Begin to move forward. Begin to move forward. Begin to move forward in the name of Jesus. May you move forward. May you move forward in life. Move forward in life. Move forward in life, shine in the name of Jesus, succeed in the name of Jesus. Your joy have come to stay. Your joy have, yes. You will not lose this baby. You will not lose this baby. This baby will not die. The mother will not die. Be blessed. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. More, more progress. I hear more progress. More joy. Yes. You will laugh. You will laugh again and again. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. May you shine. The time for you to shine have come. May you begin to shine. May you begin to succeed. Succeed in the name of Jesus. Succeed in the name of Jesus. Any demon that want to bring you down shall go down for your sake. As my daughter, don't use this. Huh? Yes, sir. Huh? Okay, sir. It will add up to your problem. Okay, sir. Huh? Okay. Use the amount there. Yeah? Don't use okay. this. Eh? Okay, sir. You are blessed. Just watch him song. You reign. You ancient Zion King. Hey. Nados. Gados. You are mighty. Salados. Salados. You reign. You reign. You reign. You reign. You reign. Rabalabo. Salabaya. Salabo. Wave your hands I have it. All this hand that is up, you will not beg for food. You will not beg for money. You will not be a beggar. You will shine and shine and shine. You will have it plenty. You will have it and you will have it and you will have it. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Blessing in your house. In your house. Just wave your hands around here. Wave your hands around here. Makalabado Sheke Bahaya. Yes. Every woman under the sound of my voice, I lose your womb. I lose your womb. Anywhere you are in this building, begin to have your babies. Every powers that have been fighting you, that you will not have children, let that power be cut off. Be cut off. Be cut off. 18 years. Go and have your baby. Go and have it. You see it in the name of Jesus? Yes, you see it. 
Just watch it, song. You are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. Can I talk to you, sir? Yes. Yes. Eh? yes. Okay. Daddy, God wants to bless you. Yes. God wants to prosper you. God wants you to smile. Eh? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Da Daddy, which, which, which gift are you? Uh, which gift you say no? Uh, somebody gave me a gift. Huh? Somebody gave me a gift on Thursday. Somebody give you what? A gift on Thursday, cash. And I told him that I have not told my boss. You have not told your wife? My boss, I can't receive it. Okay, so I, speak louder. I said somebody gave me a gift of cash, about $20,000. And I told him I won't receive it. I have not told my boss. He should wait until further notice. I saw somebody giving you a gift and you say no. Okay. See me after the service, eh? Okay, for now. See me after the service. Okay. Okay. See me after the service. Okay, Pastor. Kalabu Shahaya. Hallelujah. Oh, Zalabu Dehaya. Yes. Eh? Just worship song. Long cancer. You are Messiah. 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 You, 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 you. You are Messiah, 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 Messiah. You are Messiah. your plan for her you have come to kill this woman you move that sickness yes come on you move it yes yes you move it yes you move it yes 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 begin to come out yes yes begin to come out yes 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 you move it yes you move it yes 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 let me see our medical report labado shahaya yes yes Yes, come on. Yes. What you put in that chest, you move it now. You move it. Yes, 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 you move it. Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. You move it. Yes. Yes, you move it. One, two, three. You move it. Yes, you move it. Yes, who know her? You move it. Yes, you know her? Yes. And how do you know her? 
She is my younger sister. Is your younger sister? Yes. Okay. What is her health condition? She has lung cancer stage four. Speak loud. Lung cancer stage four. Okay. Okay. See now. Yes. See. See what is happening to your sister. That is the power of God. Are you a Christian? Yes, I'm a Christian, but she's a Muslim. She's a Muslim. Yes, you move it. Yes. Yes, you move it. You move it from, from the chest. You move it. I say you move it. Yes. Yes. Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it now. I say you move it. You put it there. You move it. Yes. Yes, look at the screen. You see how the demon... That give her that lung cancer. Is he moving it now? You move it. 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 I say you move it. You move it. You move it. Yes. 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 You move it. You move it. You move it. You move it. Yes. 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 You move it. Yes. You move it. You move it. You move it. By fire, by fire. Yes, you move it. You see, he's moving it, he's putting it behind her. You move it. You move it. Yes, yes, yes. You move all. You move all. Yes, yes, yes. You move all. You move all. Yes, yes, yes. You move all. Yes, yes, yes. You move all. You move all. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, who are you? Who are you? Oh, you Timo, who are you? Yes, 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 who are you? Yes, yes, who are you? Who are you? Oh, you Timo, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you tormenting this woman? Speak out. Who are you? Who are you? Yes. Who are you that have freed this woman with this terminal sickness? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, you stubborn witchcraft. In the name of Jesus, come out now. Come out from her. Yes. Yes, come out. Yes, come out. Yes. Yes. Begin to manifest yourself and come out. Yes. Yes. Begin to manifest yourself and come out. Yes. 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 Begin to manifest yourself and come out. 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 Yes. 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 Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Yes. 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 Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Yes. Yes. Begin to leave. 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 Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Yes, yes, yes. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. In the name of Jesus, begin to leave. Begin to leave now. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. And now go to the pit of hell. Thank you, Jesus. Take out. Makalabado shike bahaya. Oh, just watch it go. Mayalabu shahaya. Oh, Zalabo. Zalabosh. You are bigger than what we call you. Zalabosh. You are bigger than what we will say. Yes. You are bigger than what we call you. Take a hop. Some say you are good. Some say you are kind. How are you? How are you, madam? Fine, sir. How are you, madam? I'm fine. Can I, can I see your face? How are you? I'm fine. Yeah. Amen. Let me see your face. The power of God just touched you now. You are from where? Huh? Vomit those things now. Vomit it. Vomit it out. Yes. Yes, vomit it. Yes. Yes, just watch him song. Some say yes. you are good. Yes. yes. We yes. say you are yes. kind. Yes. yes. You are bigger than what people say. Yes. Some yes. say you are great. Yes. yes. Some say yes. you are kind. Yes. Just watch him 
hands. Go you are being the Lord. Wave your hands and worship Him. Wave your hands and worship Him. Oh, my daughter, congrats. Congrats to you. Thank you. Yes, yes, just get up. Jesus, I've healed you. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Speak loud. How are you? I'm fine. You are from which state? I'm from Kogi State. Kogi, where in Kogi? I'm from Mida. From Mida? Yes, sir. Yes, you discovered this how many years ago? Or how many months ago? Last, last year, August. Speak loud, speak loud. Last day, August. But God have healed you. Amen. Just check yourself. Do those things that you cannot do before you came in here. To, huh? Speak now. I won't be able to do any. I won't be able to walk well, like to stand or sing or I will start comfy. I will start panting. But what of now? I'm better. You are better. Yes. You are better. On Thursday, I invited her. Amen. She can't be able to. What walk. of now? As she you see her now. Away. Yes, sir. Amen. Do those things. Do those things. Do those things that you cannot do. My God. My, check yourself. Check yourself. Are you just sitting there? Hallelujah. Are you just sitting down? Can you hear anybody? Can you, can you hear a chicken? But Jesus just healed her. And I say celebrate Jesus and you are just sitting down. Celebrate Jesus. God of a money, I said prayer. Hey, God of the poor, I said my prayer. Celebrating Jesus. Give the Lord a shout of victory. The only man I know that can do this is Jesus. Jesus, he made a healer. If you don't know Jesus, look for him. When you have Jesus, you have eternal life. You have good health to yourself. You have long life. What just happened to her is Jesus. 
Satan go about looking for people to kill. They came to kill her, but she went to Jesus, and Jesus healed her. This meeting was meant for this woman. Why not celebrate God on her behalf? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Take her off. My daughter, what is your name? name what is your name? My name is Ojonugwa. Ojonugwa. Yes. Okay. Now, what do you have to say to Jesus? Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Eh? Thank you, Jesus. Can I hear you? Say it loud. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank Amen. you, Lord. I give you the glory. Do you want to follow Jesus? Huh? Huh? You want, let, huh? Let, let God decide. Let, let God, God decide. decide. Amen. Give the Lord a shout on our behalf. Celebrate Jesus. Let me tell you, your healing is permanent. Amen. Give the Lord a shout. Just watch him song. Calabo. give you And have your baby. Come Amen. on. Amen. 18 years and she came from Kano. God give you your baby right now. Amen. Take your baby now. Amen. Take your baby now. Amen. Take your baby now. Amen. Take it and have it. Take it and have it. You are blessed. You are blessed. Just watch it song. Just watch it song. Yeah, what are you doing in this body? Take off your hand. Take off your hand in one minute. Take off your hand one. Take off your hand in one minute. Take off your hand and go. Yes, that is it. Yes, begin to go. Begin to go. Begin to manifest that come out. Every demonic road that you have wore her, I pull it up. Yes, 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 yes. Begin to pull it. 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 And go to the pit of hell and not to come back anymore. Doors are open for you. Doors of joy. Doors of victory. You open. 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 It's your God. time to shine. Profit, gain, joy, sources, 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 sources. Be blessed. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. May you shine. May you succeed. May you succeed. Succeed in the name of Jesus. Succeed in the name of Jesus. Succeed in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Healing. All your crisis is over. You shall have peace. You, you shall have joy. Is it for you? It's for my husband. My husband in the drag machine. So the passes are where he carry. Breaking hair collected the machine. Since last year, uh, uh, June, the man he cannot speak again. I'm coming, I'm coming here from village. From it's village? What, yes. Which village? From Kogi State. Kogi? Yes. You used to watch me on television. Yes, I'm coming here. That's a Wednesday. I Some declare your husband Amen. is healed. Amen. May your husband's Amen. brain Amen. come back to normal. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What we'll do, Amen. we'll give you the healing water. Okay. You'll go and use it for your husband. Thank you. And your husband will be healed. Amen. And your husband will start talking. Amen. Amen. You'll meet this man. you wait behind after the service. Okay. He will meet you okay. and give you the oil. Thank you. You, you, you wait by the door. Okay. By the door. Yeah. Eh? He will give Thank you. Thank you, sir. Amen. Just watch him song. Yeshua. I'm a seer. I am a Judah. I'm a Yeshua. I'm a Lion of Judah, I could not change. Yes, you are. I'm a seal. Lion of Judah, I could not change. I could not change. Yes, who are you? Who are you? What is your plan for this woman? Speak out. What is your plan? What are you planning for her? What are you planning for her? Eh? What are you planning for her? Eh? What are you planning for her? Eh? Yes, oh you demon, what are you planning for her? What are you planning for her? In the name of Jesus, begin to manifest that come out now. Yes, yes, begin to leave. 
Begin to live. Yes. 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 Begin to live. Begin to live. Begin to live. Oh, you demon. What are you doing in this body? What are you doing in this body? What are you doing in this body? Huh? What are you doing in this body? Huh? What are you doing in this body? What are you doing in this body? Huh? What are you doing in this body? Speak out. You are under arrest. What are you doing in this body? Huh? What are you doing in this body? Oh, you demon, what are you doing in this body? What are you doing in this body? Huh? Today I'm going to cast you out. Yes, I'm going to cast you out. Yes, yes, I'm going to cast you out. You have been in this body causing our pains. What and what you have destroyed in our destiny, the destiny that God has given her. Yeah, what do you do to that destiny? 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 In the name of Jesus, take off your hand. Take off your hand. Take off your hand. Take off your hand. What you tied. What you tied, cut it off. Cut it off. Yes, cut it. I said, cut it. Cut it. What you tied? Huh? What do you tied? Huh? What do you tied? What do you tied? Huh? What do you tied? What do you tied? Huh? What do you tied? Speak loud. What do you tied? I will not talk. Huh? You say you will not talk. Why you will not talk? Why do you say you will not talk? Nothing. You will not talk. What do you tight in our life? Because I saw you tight something. What do you tight? It's our womb. Huh? Our womb. You tight our womb. <clears throat> and why do you tight our womb? You tie our womb. And why do you tie? Why do you tie our womb? Huh? Why do you tie our womb? Why do you tie our womb? You tie the womb. Why? Why do you tie the womb? Why do you tie the womb? Huh? Why do you tie the womb? 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 I just tied it. You just tied it? Yes. Huh? You just tied it? Why do you just tied it? Huh? Why do you just tied it? Why do you tied it? Why do you tied it? Why do you tied it? Any womb that have been tied, let that womb be open. Amen. And any man, any demon that tie your womb, let their hand be cut off. Amen. Let their hand be cut off. Amen. Be cut off. Be cut off. Shall be cut off. Be cut off. Shall be cut off. Be cut off. You tie the womb. As you tie the womb, what will happen to her? She will not give birth. She will not give birth. As you tie the womb, she will not give birth. Who are you that tied it? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Show me how you tied it. Show me how you tight it again. As you tight it like this, what will happen to her? She will not give birth. She will not give birth. Yes. She will not give birth at all. Mm. Eh? Yes. Now, I'm going to order you to cut it. Cut it now. Cut it. 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 Yes, cut it. Yes, cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Yes, cut it. Cut it. Cut it. I see women that came in here believing God for fruit or womb. I see their womb being open. Amen. I see their womb being open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Cut it now. Cut it. Cut it. Cut 
touch it. And now I cast you out. Take off your hand now. Take off your hand. Take off your hand and go. Take off your hand. 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 And go. Go. Not to come back anymore. Go and have your baby. Go and have your baby. Amen. If you need baby, a boy or a girl, and you come here with, with a crow, take it up. Take it up. Take it up. Take, take it up. Shakala Bahaya. And now, if you are not here with anything for the baby, take your two hands up. Kamalabo Shekele Bahaya. Malabado Sheke Bahaya. May this hand, you see babies. May this hand, you see babies. You see your baby. You see your baby. And now put that hand on your stomach now. Makalabado Shike Bahaya. You see your baby. You see your baby. You see your baby. You see your baby. You see it now. Yes, 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 yes. You see your baby. You see your baby. In the name of Jesus. I say, you see it in the name of Jesus. 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 Yes, come on. Yes. 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 Let that womb be open. Let it be open. Let it be open. Let it be open. This womb that I've been caused, I bless the womb now. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Take it now. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it now. Yes, yes, yes. Take it and have it. Take it and have it. Take it and have it. Have it in the name of Jesus. Makalabado Shekele Bahaya. I prophesy good news. Go and have your baby, madam. You have your baby. Makalabado Sheke Bahaya. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Joy. Let the joy continue. Let the peace continue. Let the peace continue in the name of Jesus. Let it continue. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. You are fulfilled. You are fulfilled. Be blessed. Be blessed. May you shine. May you succeed. Makalabado shekele bahaya. Mandelebo shekele bahaya. I prophesy good news. I prophesy joy. I prophesy happiness, happiness, happiness. Yes, come on. Makalabado Sheke Bahaya. Begin to shine. Yes, yeah, begin to shine. Begin to succeed. May you succeed. May you succeed. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. 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 The accident is cancelled. It's cancelled and cancelled and cancelled. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Be out. Yes, yes, come on, be out. Be out of this lady. Yes, come on. Yes. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Huh? I don't die today. Oh Who are you? Family altar. You are the family altar. Yes. You are the family altar. Yes. You are the family altar. Yeah. What do you do to her? Plenty things. Oh. Huh? Plenty things. Have this trial. Ah, what do you do to her? Ah, what do you ah, do to her? I have caged her. You have caged her. Ah, nothing good is coming away. You say what? <laughs> you have caged her. Yes. Why do you cage I her? I want her not to come here. This case she's too stubborn. You keep on doing her. I to follow her. Ah! Oh! I'm finished. You are finished. I'm finished. Who are you? I'm the family altar. You are the family altar. Yes. You catch her. Yes. You catch her so that what, what will not Nothing happen to her? Nothing would come her way. Huh? Nothing would come her way. Nothing good. Yes. Nothing good like what? Have collected all her stuff. Huh? Nothing good. Nothing good. Yes. Nothing good like what? Ah. Oh, nothing good like what? Ah, ah, nothing good like what? Ah, she will never succeed. She will never succeed. Yes, she will never succeed like what? Ah, I've caged her. You have caged her. Yes, you caged her. Yes, and how do you cage her? Nothing good will come her way. Ah. Nothing good will come her way. I even cause delay. She will never settle down. She will never settle down. Her younger one has settled down, but she, she will never settle down. She will not settle down. She will never settle down for what now? Uh -uh. Why you don't want her to settle down? Ah? Uh -uh. 
No. She belongs to us. She belongs to you? Yes. As she belongs to you, how do you control our, our, our destiny? How do you control our destiny? I have killed her destiny. She has a bright future. She has a bright future. I even held her and the HND. She will never cut. She will never even go. She will not, she will not even get a good work. She will keep on suffering. Ah, no, 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 no. This place is too hot for me. Speak loud. This, this place is too hot for me. I want to go. I want to go. How do you monitor her? How do you monitor her? Ah. How do you monitor her? Ah, oh my God. How do you monitor I'm her? I'm finished. You are finished. I'm finished. Indeed, you are finished. My time is up. Ah. All girl, the demons dealing with girl, you. This Their girl, time yeah. is off. Ah. Hey, hey, you hear the family come altar? Here. Confess Keep it. on confessing. You are not to come here. Stop again. Oh, my God. I'm finished. Oh, you are my finished. My time is up. Ah. Sha, she will never settle down. All our younger ones, they have settled her? down. All our younger ones. But she, she will never settle down. I keep on destroying her relationship. No man will come her way. Speak loud. No man will ever come to her way. I keep on causing pains. When men is coming, how do you send them away? Ah. Ah. When men is coming, how do you send them away? In my own way now. In uh, your own way? Yes. How do you do it in your own way? Uh, I used to confuse the man. You used to, to confuse the man? Ah, uh, uh, her last relationship, self. Ah, uh, I will not even see. And now, what do you do to her womb? Ah, uh, she has a fibro. She's about to operate it. You give her fibro? Yes, she's going for an operation. She's going for an operation? Yes. Why do you give her fibro? Ah, uh, how not to conceive? How not to settle down? Speak loud. I not to settle down, not to conceive. She will not even see a good man. You give her five broad and you don't want her to get married? Yes. Now, how do you monitor her? Ah, plenty ways. How do you monitor her? Dream, I give her feed her. I do feed her, I do come to make love to her as a spiritual husband. Ah. Now, today, what you have taken from her, you turn it. For where? You turn it. I will not. Huh? I will not. The last time you deliver her, follow her. You follow her? Yeah, I used to follow her. You deliver her. You know, I followed her. You used to follow her? I used to follow her. Anytime she wants to come here, I keep on confusing her. I'm this girl, stubborn girl. Eh? Oh, you think you will succeed. You what you are succeed. using where she, she leave to yeah. enter her? Let that, Let that thing die. Family altar. Let that thing die. Let that family altar die. In our father's house, so they buried it. Family altar. In Kaduna, there. They Kaduna. buried it. Every altar. Every altar in your father's house. Hey. That have not died. As you shall fire, let them die. Hey. Let them die. Hey. So all you family altar. In my father's house. Hey. Today you are dead in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are dead in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are dead in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are dead in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are dead in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now take off your hand. Take off your hand. No. Take off your hand. For waiting. Take off your hand. She will go far. She must not go far. Even I hate her. I end their cages. You cage her like she this. She gather money to collect even end so that she walk. In the name of Jesus, begin to come out. Begin to come out. Money, she will never begin to come out. Begin to come out. Yes, begin to come out. 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 She belongs to us. She belongs to you. Today, yes. I destroy that covenant. Uh, I destroy that covenant. Now, father's company. I destroy that covenant. He's not here. I destroy. I He's destroy that covenant. Father. Let somebody shout fire. Be destroyed. Uh, yes. 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 Be destroyed. Be destroyed. No. Yes. Yes. Be destroyed. Ah, be destroyed. No. Be destroyed. Just watch him song. Makalabo Shalabada. Yes. Every knee yes. shall bow. Every yes. tongue Zalados. shall confess Zalados. that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord, is the Lord, is the 
To leave you alone. Huh? Yes. Who are you? Leave me alone. Who are you? 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 Huh? Who are you? Leave me alone. Who are you? Huh? Who are you? I to leave you alone. Who are you? Yes, yeah, who are you? Father, Who are you? Father. Who are you? What are you doing in this body? Father. What are you doing father, in this body? Father. Yeah, father. Yeah, yeah, what are you doing in this father, body? My father. Father. Yeah. Father. 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 Now, what do you do to our destiny? What do you do to our destiny, oh, you father? What do you do to our destiny? I don't want that to give birth. Huh? I don't want that to give birth. Speak loud. I don't want that to give birth. You don't want that to give birth? Yes. Oh, you father, why you don't want her to give bed? I love her. Her husband loves her very well. Her husband loves her very well. Yes, sir. That yes. is why you don't want her to have a child. I don't want to. to I don't want to marry. I don't want her to marry. Speak loud. I don't want her to marry that man. That man is so great. That man is so great. He's a man of God. That man is so great. He loves her very well. And because of that, you are angry. Yes. And, and, uh, 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 because of that, you don't want her to have a child. I don't want her marriage to work. Huh? I don't want her marriage to work. I want her to come back. You know her. To come back to me. I don't want her. I don't want her you know her. Pastor, how do you know her? From, from Gwagwalada. She came from with Gwagwalada. us. From Gwagwalada? Yes. Yes. Ah. You are the father. You don't want her to have a child. Ah. Why you don't want her to have a child? Why you don't want her to have a child? I want her to come back home. You want her to come back home? Yes. I to come and meet marriage. you? I don't want that marriage to work. You don't want that marriage to work? Yes. How do you want to scatter the marriage? I want her to come home. You want her to come home? To come and meet me at home. You want her to come and meet you at home? Yes. Huh? Yes. But she's married. Why do you want her to come and meet you at home? Why you want her to come and meet you at home? <sighs> huh? To come and stay at home. Huh? To come and stay at home with me. To come and stay at home with you. Yes. To do what for you? It's my. I bought it her high. Huh? I bought her a gift when he was in his mother's womb. You say what? I monitor her when he was in his mother's womb. You monitor her. Yes. When she's is in her mother's womb. There was there are, there are twins. Huh? There are twins. There are twins. Yes. And you monitor them. The other one gave birth. I don't want this one to give birth. The other yeah. one give birth. Yes. But you don't want this one to give birth. Yes. Why you don't want this one to give birth? <sighs> Why you don't want this one to give birth? Ah. Why you don't want this one to give birth? I want it to come home. You, you want this one to come home? Yes. If he come home, to do what for you? Ah. To do what for you? To want to, to come home, to come home, to come home. To come home. Oh, that woman, that man will not marry her. They are coming, they are quarreling every day, every day. Give her a confession to be quarreling. Let her come home and give her confession. She speak that speak loud. I give her confession to leave that home. You should not marry that man. That man says, you pack up, pack up, pack up. I don't want to go. They will quarrel, they will come back again. They will come back, they will come back. They will quarrel, they will come back. You know back. the husband? You love her. No. Eh? No, sir. I need to her. see the husband on Monday. You call her. The other one will say, pack up, pack up. Pack up. I will not marry you again. I will not marry you. Will you are the cause. I will go and marry another one man. I don't want her to marry. I don't want her to marry. You don't want them to marry. Uh, the tweet is doing well. The twins boy, the twins one, the twins boy is doing worse. The husband is married. He have her own child, three kind. Three child. I don't want this one to have a child. You don't want I this don't. one to have a child? Yes. I close what is your offense of I this close, one? I close her womb. You close the womb? I close her womb. Why do you close her womb? He don't want her to born. Huh? I don't want her to born. You don't want her to born? 
I close our womb. But what, what? But the other two is born. Yes, that one two is born. Huh? He born. Yes, and that that one born. I don't want this one to born. Okay, okay. Now, why do you allow that one to born, and you don't want this one to born? Uh, that one is a boy. He's strong. Huh? He's strong more than her. This one can go to where? He can't that go one to is her. stronger than her. Uh, yes. That is why he defeated the spirit, you. The spirit of that one is very strong. The spirit of that one is strong. Yes. Than you. Yes. That is why that one broke that yoke and he had children. Yes. But this one is not strong. You, this you one is broke the yoke. He go to church, to church. He has gone to many churches. No way. I can't do that one. Everywhere I go to. Everywhere I walk to. You monitor her. Husband Show me how you broke the womb. Show me how you broke the womb. Show me how you broke it. No, I will not tell you. Huh? I will not tell you. You will not tell me. Huh? No. Show me how you broke the womb. Yes. Show me how you broke the womb. This is how you broke the womb. Huh? You broke the womb. Now. You broke the womb like this. As you broke the womb, what will happen? What will happen? What will happen? She will not born. She will not born. What do you use? I use. Huh? I cover her with pot. 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 You use pot. Yes. The Come other on. one use a uh, stone, but you you use pot. Yes. yes. Now you move that pot. You move it. You move it. You move it. Yes. 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 Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. You move it. Yes. Yes, begin to remove it. Yes. 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 Yes, begin to remove it. Yes. Yes, come on, begin to remove it. Yes. Yes. Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. 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 Yes. Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. You move it now. You move it now. You move it. 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 Now. You move it now. You move it now. You move it now. You move it now. You move it. You move it. Even the confession you put between her and the husband. You move that confession. Yes, you move it. You move that confession. You move that confession. You move that confession. You move it. You move it. And now go not to come back anymore. And I declare you a dead man. Die. Every man behind your problem, they will not survive. They will not survive. They will not survive. As you shall fire, they will not survive. 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 Go. Go now. Go. I say go. 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 No. Give the Lord a shout. Amen. Madam, how are you? God just deliver you now. Thank you. Amen. Where do you live? Yes. Can you speak loud? Can I see your face? Yes. Where do you live? Yes, sir. Amen. Where is your husband? He's at home. He's at home. Yes, sir. Amen. Your husband, is he walking? Yes, sir. Where is he walking? He walks with where? Where is one company? Huh? In one company. Okay. God just deliver you now. Thank you, sir. Amen. Are you a twins? Yes, sir. Amen. Where's your twins? He's living at town. He's living at Kano. Is town. he a, eh? in town? Eh? Where? In town. In town. Yes. In town. Amen. Is he a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Okay. Do you have how many children? Three children. And you, you have been married for how many years? Eight years. Eight years. Yes. But no child. Yes. But today your your womb is open. Yes. Amen. Yes. You you try to. Watch your deliverance. You will see what the Lord has done for you. And Pastor Favor, sir. you try to make contact. Let me see the husband on Monday. Okay, sir. Two of them. Give the sir. Lord a shout. Amen. 
Yes, come out from this woman. Yes, yes, come out. Come out. Yes, oh you witchcraft. Out of this woman. Yes. Out in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Let somebody shout fire. fire. Let somebody shout Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Let somebody shout Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Favor have come to stay. You will not fail anymore. You will succeed. You will succeed. Oh you idol. From the father's house. That use this fibro to monitor this woman. Yes, you move the fibro. You move the fibro. You move the fibro. You move it. Yes. Yes, you move the fibro. You move it. You move the fibro. Come on, you move it. Yes. Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. Yes. Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. Yes. 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 Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. You move the fibro. You move it. Yes. 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 What you put in our face. That when men see her, they will see her in a different way. You move all those things. You move all those things and go not to come back anymore. Amen. Give the Lord a shout. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Wave your hands. Wave your hands. Wave your hands. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. New life. New destiny. Doors are open for you. You will shine. Pain in the back is gone. You are healed. You are healed. You are blessed. You will shine. You will succeed. You will succeed. You will grow bigger. You will shine. You will succeed. Doors are open. Doors are open for you. Favor to favor. Increase. Joy. Favor. Divine favor. Divine is all. Shine. Succeed. Make it in life. You are blessed. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. You will not fail. May God separate you from bad boys. Makalabo shike bahaya. Be well with your friends, eh? Malabado shike bahaya. Be blessed. Favor continue. Joy continue. Makalabo shehala bahaya. Mandele bahaya. You are blessed. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. You will shine. You will shine. You will succeed. You will not fail. Your season to shine have come. Be blessed. Be favored. Be favored. Be favored. Be favored. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Be blessed. You will not be mocked anymore. Yes, spirit of mockery. Yes, come on. Yes. That thing that makes people to mock you, we take it out of your body. We take it out now. Come on, we take it out. Spirit of mockery. That make us to think how to kill ourselves. Come on. Come on now and go, not to come back anymore. Yes, yes, come on. Yes, 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 come on. You have been, yes. Huh? Yes. You say what? Huh? Why are you following this woman? Why are you following her? I'm the father's sister. You are the father's sister. Fellas, fellas, sister, you are following her. Huh? Why do you follow her? Why do you follow her? Too much. You deliver Why do you follow her? And this time again. Why are you following her? Yes, yes. Why are you following her? Why are you following her? Father, sister. Yes. 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 Father, sister, why are you following her? Father, sister, why are you following her? Why are you following her? Father, sister. You are the father's sister. You are following her. Why do you follow her? Any father's sisters that is following you, that says you know her peace of mind, you will hear they are dead this evening. Amen. You will hear they are dead this evening. Amen. You will hear they are dead this evening. Amen. Every father's sister, either mother's sisters, that have been following you, that doesn't want you to have joy. Fine. You will hear their death in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will hear their death in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will hear their death. It will happen now. It will happen now. Yes, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Huh? You say what? Leave me alone. I should leave you alone. Yes. Huh? Yes. Why do you want me to leave you alone? I don't want her to be free. You don't want her to be free. Huh? Yes. Why you don't want her to be free? We want the father not to marry the mother. You want the father that he should not marry the mother? Huh? 
Yes. And the father went and married the mother. Yes. And you went after the children. Yes. Huh? You went after the children. Yes. And now, how do you follow the children? How do you follow the children? She's the only one we are disturbing. He's the only one because he's a star. Listen to me. I'm going to cast you out now. No. And today I'm going to send you to the pit of hell. No. Where you will not come back again. As far as I'm alive, I will still come back. As far as you are alive, yes. you will still come back. Yes. Say it again. As far as I'm alive, I will come back. You will come back. Yes. And how do you follow her? How do you follow her? I'm a member of a white garment church. You are a member of what? White garment church. White garment. Yes. And now, how do you invoke her destiny? How do you invoke her destiny? When her mother gave birth to her, I refused to come. But when she's up to a child, I asked them to bring her to me. But the mother refused. The father insists. She went down to Lagos. We initiated her into the white garment church. And what happened? Since then, things is not okay with her. Things is not okay with her? Yes. How? How do I made her to be doing all sorts of things. At the end, she'll be crying. I made her to be fighting the mother. You make, I even make her to hate the mother and love the father. You make her to, to hate the mother? Yes. Why do you make her to hate the mother? Because the mother is a great woman. She's a prayer warrior. She's a prayer warrior. That is why you make her to hate the mother. Yes. And love the father. Yes. Huh? Yes. And now, who and who are you using in that family? Who and who are you using in that family? Huh? Who and who? Who and who? Who and who? It's She's the only one. It's the only one. And now, how do, since you possess her, how do you control her? How do we you have different ways. Different ways. Of controlling her. Okay, explain which way and which way. At times I will make her to drink. At times you make her to drink. Yes. To drink which alcohol? She can take up to eight bottles. Eight bottles. You make her to, to drink. And when she drinks, what happens? What happens? Then we can manipulate her very well. You At manipul- times she will go home and fight the mother. Huh? She will go home and fight the mother. Huh? Yes. She will go home and fight the mother. And when she fight the mother, are you happy? Huh? Yes. You are happy. Huh? You are happy. Yes. That is what you are doing. Huh? I also made her to have a child out of wedlock. You make her to have child out of wedlock. Leave now, me huh? Leave me alone. The hatred you have caused between her and the mother, I declare soft right now. Amen. Now, you move the alcohol from her mouth. Wow. Eight bottle. Kalabado Shehaya. Zeke Boda. You see what the devil? Yes. Yes. Come on. I'm not going. Huh? I'm not going. Give me the alcohol. Give me the alcohol. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Huh? Like, like. Give me the alcohol. I'm not giving you. Huh? I'm not. You want her to continue to be drinking alcohol? Yes. And when she continues to drink alcohol, what will happen? Huh? What will happen to her? How do you want to use alcohol to destroy her? Because we don't want anything. Huh? Anything good. As nobody will see her as a reasonable girl because the way she drinks. Nobody will see her as a, as, a, as a good person. When you are drinking, how can people will not value you? Hmm. Now, listen to me. You say you are the uncle. Uncle, what is your name? I'm not the uncle. I'm huh? the father's sister. You are the father's sister. Father's sister, what is your name? Felicia. 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 Felicia, give me the, the bottle that you have given her. Huh? Give it to me. No. Show me how you give her the bottle. 
Show me how you give her the bottle. Eh? Show me how you give her the bottle. See. You can see. They give her the bottle like that. Yes. Give me the bottle. Yes. Yes. Throw that bottle away from my hand now. Yes. Throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. One. Two. Three. Yes. 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 You move the bottle from my hand. You move it now. You move it now. Yes. Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. Yes, you move it. You move it now. You move it. Yes. In the name of Jesus, you move it. Yes. Yes, you move it. 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 Uh huh. You move it. 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 Yes. 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 At times, who know her? At times, you know her. Yes, sir. She, she can be violent. Yes. And she can be nice. Yes. She, she is nice beyond. Yes, sir. And the mother is a good woman. The mother is a very good woman. How do you know her? We are very close. And we stay in the same area. We come together. Makabo Shiki Bahaya. At times, something will be telling her, go and stab your mom. You know? People that kill, kill people, they, they don't know. The demon will just enter them. If we don't deliver this one now, you will hear that a girl just stabbed the mother to death. You will just hear that a girl just stabbed the mother to, the, to, to death. It's a spirit. They will invoke you to do something that, that the law will charge you and you won't be able to come out for me. In the name of Jesus, come out now. Come out. Come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus, begin to come out. Begin to come out. No. Yes. 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 Begin to go. Go now. Go. 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 Huh? No going. You say you are not going. Go now. No. Go. No. Go. No. Go. No. Go. No. Go. No. Go. No. Oh, you demon, what are you doing in this body? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Mm -hmm. Who know? Who know the lady? Mm -hmm. Where's the mother? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who are you? 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 Who are you that is controlling this lady? Who are you? 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 In the name of Jesus, begin to come out. Come out now. Come out and go. Yes. 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 Come out. Yes. Come out. Come out from this lady. Yes. 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 Begin to go. Begin to go with a shout. Yes. 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 Begin to go. Begin to go. Yes. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we cast you out. We cast you out now. Go. 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 Go now. Go, 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 go. And not to come back anymore. Let somebody shout fire. Aye. In the name that is bigger than you, in the name that is longer than you, we cast you out now. Begin to go with a shout. Begin to go now. Go, 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 go. I say go, go now. I say go. Go, go. No. Go. I said no. Just wasting your time. Take her down. Huh? You're just wasting your time. I'm wasting my time. Yes. I'm not wasting my time. I'm You're going to cast you out. Wasting your time. Take her down. Two of you. Yes. Join them. Yes. Labado shiki bahaya. Mandele bo shahaya. Just watch him song. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You are the God who opens the. No man can shut. You're not a man, no. You're not a man. No. You are the God of everything. No one like you. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. Yes, you are. You are the God. You are the God who opens the door. No man can shut. You're not a man, no. You're not a man. You're not a man, no. You are. You are the God of everything. No one like you. No one like you, Jesus. No one. Like you, I answer. No 
one like you. Ah. Yes. 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 Let that thing come up from my ear. Yes. Who know her? Mama, what is her problem? The problem, the, the mother died last time. He never to the, the senior brother also died. Even if his son also died. What is, what is happening to her ear? I don't know. Because of that, he's almost, almost complete. Okay. Just they talk. They yes, come out now. Yes. Yes, yes, come out. Huh? Come out from, yes. Come out from that ear. Huh? Permanent. Yeah, you know, bad news. You move from the ear. Yes, come on. Yes. You move. You move. Yes. Yes. Yes, you move it. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. You move it from there. Yes. 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 Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Yes. Yes, begin to leave. Begin to leave now. Yes, come out from there. Yes. 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 Yes, you move it. Yes. Yes. Oh, you demon, who are you? What are you doing in this young lady's body? In the name that is bigger than you, I'm going to cast you out. Yes, yes, begin to come out. Begin to come out. Join your hands. Begin to come out. Begin to come out in the name of Jesus. Come out now. Yes. Spirit of waywardness that have possessed her. You possess some of our sisters. And you want to destroy this one again. <laughs> huh? I'm going to cast you out. Yes, come on. Come out. Come out now. Yes. Begin to leave. By fire, by fire. Come out now. Go. 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 Go now. Go. Yes. Go in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. Yes. Mm. Spirit of death. Leave this woman. Come on. Leave this woman. Yes. Yes. Come on. Makado shike bahaya. Yes. Yes. Take off your hand from this woman. Yes. Spirit of death. Go right now. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. Yes. Madam, something is coming out from your ear. Something, something must come out. Yes, come on. Kalabado Shehaya. Yes. Just watch it so. Malabado Shehaya. When you speak. Zaladosh. Zaladosh. Everything Galabos. obeys. Malabosh. Galabosh. Oh. When you show up. Uh. Everything Go. Go. just. Go. Go. Go for my face and go and not to come back anymore. Go. When you speak, go in the name of Jesus, not to return again. Everything obeys. Everything obeys. Zaladosh. Yes. You show Who are you? you yes. 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 Oh, you demon. What is your intention? Yes, yes. Yes, what is your intention? What is your intention? All your intention is cancelled. And take off your hand from the baby. Take off your hand from this pregnancy. Take off your hand quietly. Take off your hand quiet, quietly. And go not to come back anymore. Yes, just worship so. Miracles. Miracles. Miraculous God Saving the best until now Saving the best until now Miraculous God Miraculous God Singing Miraculous God Miraculous God Miraculous God Miraculous God Saving the best until now Saving the best until now Miraculous God, yeah Miraculous
miraculous God Yeah miraculous miraculous God You are miraculous yes. Where you tie him with the spirit of reproach, we cut it off now. Yes, 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 come on, be loose. Come on, be loose. Yes, yes, come on, be loose. Come on, be loose. Come on, be loose. Come on, be loose. Yes, yes, come on, be loose. Come on, be loose. Come on, be loose. Come on, be loose. I say, be loose. I say, be loose. Yes, be loose. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose. Just watch it song. Makalabado shake Bahaya. Imalabo. Salados. Okuku. Barata. Kenyadaka. Imolete. Okuku. Barata. Imolete. Okuku. Barata. Imolete. Imolete. Okuku. Barata. Yes. Oh, you demon, what are you doing in his body? What do you do to his destiny? What do you do to his destiny? Huh? Speak out. What do you do to his destiny? What do you do to his destiny? Huh? What do you do to the destiny that God has given to this man? Yes, come on. Yes, take off your hand. Take off your hand. Take off your hand. Just watch him song. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. cuckoo. Yes. Oh, cuckoo, parata. Imolete. Oh, cuckoo, parata. Imolete. Oh, cuckoo, parata. Imolete. Yes. Imolete. Yes. Yes. Oh, cuckoo. Yes. Parata. Yes. Yes, begin to leave. Yes. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Yes. By fire, by fire. Begin to leave this man now. Yes. Begin to cry out. Begin to cry out. Yes. 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 That thing you used to cover his face. Begin to pull it out. Begin to pull it out. Yes. Yeah, begin to pull it out. Yes. Yes. Begin to pull it out. Pull it. Pull it. Yes. 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 Yes, 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 pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, yes, yes, Makalabosh, Yarabosh, yes, Ibu Hafana, Ombe, 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 it <laughs> What is this? Yes, I can see. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. Your head, your leg, your shoe. Give the Lord a big hand. Malabo Zahaya. Yes, just watch him song. Ladabos. Hibuchimo, Hibuchi. Ladabos. You are the eyes that I used to see. You are the key that opens the door. You are the owner of my soul. The push the ponies will never consume. What shall I render to you, O God? Only to bow down and worship you. 
you are my God. Wave your hands, wave your hands. Stand on your feet. Wave your hands. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Give the Lord a shout of praise. I heard God saying, All the women that they are here today, they are billionaires. They are billionaires in high. They are billionaires and anything they touch. That thing shall produce by force. Amen. That thing shall produce by force. Amen. That thing shall produce by force. It shall produce by force. Amen. It, shall, it shall produce by force. Yes, come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on now. Yes. Yes, begin to leave. Begin to leave. I cast you out now. In the name of Jesus, begin to leave. Let the church shall fire. Hey! Let the church shall fire. Let the church shall fire. Hey! Shout it now. Shout it now. Shout it now. Hey! Yes. 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 Begin to shout fire. Begin to shout fire. fire. Begin to shout fire. fire. Every uncle of yours, auntie of yours, that say your life will scatter, is their life that will scatter. Amen. Is their life that will scatter. Amen. Go now. Go. 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 Go now. Go. Go. I say go. I say go. Go now. I'm not done with her yet. Huh? I'm not done with her yet. She just you're losing your time. I will still come back. But you won't be alive to come back anymore. You say as you are alive, you will not live her. Anybody that that bet with you that as it's alive, you will not be alive, they will die. Yes, begin to go. Begin to go. Go now. Go. Go. I say go. I say go. I say go. 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 Let somebody shout fire. 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 Let somebody shout Holy Ghost. 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 Shout it. Shout it. Shout it. Shout Holy Ghost. Shout Holy Ghost. Shout it and shout it loud. Shout it and shout it loud. Shout it and shout it loud. Holy Ghost. From your foundation. From your foundation. From your foundation. I destroy, I destroy, I destroy, I destroy, I destroy, I destroy. Now, now listen to me. Listen to me, begin to leave. That's it. Hmm? Yes, yes, begin to leave. As far Felicia is alive, she's not going. Huh? She's not going. I will make sure I make her useless. I will render her useless. We've come in different ways to take her. But no Anybody way. that make your life to be useless is their life that will be useless. Amen. Is their life that will be useless. Amen. Is their life that will be useless. Yes, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the court of heaven, we judge you. We judge you. We judge you. Any enemies, any enemies, anywhere they are, in your father's house. In your mother's house, hey. as you shall fire, they will catch fire. Hey. They will catch fire. They will catch fire. Hey. They will catch fire. They will catch fire. They will catch fire. Hey. 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 Will catch fire. Yes, begin to go. Yes, the begin fire to go. is not touching me. Yes. Yes. Just push up to the side. In the name of Jesus, begin to leave. Yes, 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 begin to leave. 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 Begin to leave in the name of Jesus. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. I have said what I want to say. Begin to, huh? I want to use less. I want to render less. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anybody that wants to make your children useless. You will bury them this week. Amen. Yes, go now. Go. 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 Yes. 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 Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Begin to leave. Yes. 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 Go now. Go. 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 And I declare you dead. You are 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 dead. Yes.
Yes. Go now. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. Can we celebrate the first lady? Why not celebrate her with a shout? Celebrate her. Celebrate her. Amen. You can see what the Lord has done. It's a new beginning for you. Stop complaining. Go and shine. Go and succeed. It's your season of greatness. No demon can deny you anymore. Amen. Jam your hands and celebrate mama. Can we celebrate papa? Everything that you have received will go back home with you in the name of Jesus. I want you to package your thanksgiving offering. And this time before you come to the altar to drop it, be deliberate. A lot has happened here today. It is no longer business as usual in our lives in the name of Jesus. Package your thanksgiving offering. Raise it up to heaven. David, can you bring my offering? Begin to speak to it. Seal it. Everything that you have received today, use your thanksgiving offering. Seal it before God. Nothing will take it away in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for today. Lift it up to heaven. We thank you for today. We bless you. We magnify you. Father, let this offering be a token that will seal every prophetic word that has come forth today. As we give our offering, Father Lord, we decree divine help. Our finances will multiply. There shall be no more lack in Jesus' mighty name. Drop it on the altar. Touch the altar. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. Woo! Yes, taking away my sorrows I am free. I got me for hallelujah.
watching Divine Hand Television. Miracles await you. You are watching Divine Hand Television. Miracles await you. You are watching Divine Hand Television. Miracles await you. You are watching Divine Hand Television. Miracles await you. You are watching Divine Hand Television. 